make sure we still have Sarah. So I look. I waited. Oh, I gotta close the door. It's, it's early. It's early. Some people are still sleeping. I waited till we started the stream to open the highball. So we're gonna really, we're gonna really capture the opening of the highball energy. By the way, if you guys want to sponsor me, I, I think this is made by the same people as Bud Light. I'm just saying, I'm, I, I just like the energy drink, man. It's not a political cause, man. Mm. So we are documenting a GPU today. Uh, we are documenting the GPU. Let's make me tiny. Let's make me tiny. There we go. I'm tiny. Look at that. Uh, so we have a new back end in Tiny Grab called the KMD driver. So it can be KMD equals one. The simplest example is in test, test ops, test ops, test tiny. So I can do one equals two. You can see it uh, put in some stuff. And I can do ioptal equals one. And you see these are the ioptals that are actually being sent to the GPU. Uh, so we have a driver now. This is pretty much the rawest you can get. Uh, let's open tiny bit. Another window here. Pretty much talking to the GPU in raw mode. Uh, now, our discovery on the last stream, uh, beautiful UMR. Uh, UMR, we see it over Run lists. So let's try something a little more complicated. I think this like works. Cool. So now let's see if we can like here. Let's go SDMA. Okay, well we got this stuff. Um, I think there's a way to. Ring stream. Dump IB packets. Okay. EI. This. Uh, this three. Oh no. Okay, so these bugs probably are not um this is probably not a GPU bug. Uh, still probably not a GPU bug. This driver is very new, so the bugs are probably in the driver. Um, no, if anyone who thought we were going to give up... This has been my slogan for a long time. This has been my slogan since the OG iPhone days, boys. Like, I know that I know that you know you see people online that say I give up on stuff, but you see they have to believe that because if they didn't believe that, they'd have to ask the question, "What are they doing with their life?" Right? This is this is the, the hacker news. The hacker news hate for me reveals so much about the psychology of hacker news. And look, there's legitimate criticisms, but a lot of the hacker news hate looks a lot more of the variety that like, I can't exist, right? You can't just like not sell out, man. You have to sell out, man. Uh, so, so there has to be something, uh, you know, wrong with me, right? There, there has to be, I'd have to have, have, have gotta be something wrong with me, right? Because uh, otherwise, how do they explain themselves? How do they feel good about themselves? How do they preserve their ego? Um, 
so yeah, you know, yeah, we're we're still at it. You think you think we're giving up on this? We're selling red tiny boxes. We're doing it. We sell a computer called the tiny box. It comes. Oh yeah, this took. Oh yeah, you, you want to see the code for tiny the logo? Oh, I worked really hard on this code, boys. Yeah, that's the code. It turns out you don't have to sell out. But, you know, for someone who did sell out, for someone who, who, who had dreams in their youth and gave up on them and now work at a now work at a, at, a, at, a, at a sad company doing sad things and have a sad life with a sad wife and sad kids and a sad house and a sad pool in the backyard that they had to pay a pool cleaner for. They got to they gotta justify somehow, man. You know, I look, I feel bad. I feel bad. But that's just, that's just, I don't know, like, like I look at the hate and that's, that's what a lot of it looks like, man. You know, we can, we can all, we can all, we can all understand that. Look, I don't hate that, man. I don't hate, that feeling doesn't go both ways. We mostly feel love. There's a few people I hate, but mostly love. Um, wait, how did this happen? Uh, yeah, so we're shipping two versions of the tiny box, red and green. Are you talking about university? Oh, yes. I, I saw a comment on the last video, too, that I wanted to respond to. Do we have some people in here now? 300 people. All right, you guys will get my response to the comment. Writing a fuzzer and not getting triggered. I think the comment was on this one. Alex is cool. No, where's our, where's our comment that we have to respond to? Maybe it's on this one. comment on this one we're just we're just looking through the comments we're gonna we're gonna try to find the comments it's it's, it's very it's very important comment that we have to respond to wait oh what's my major flaw understand by everything by himself hire a team smarter than me you deal with funding and expanding your market oh, I see uh, damn bro how's your business doing Comments gone. No comment. Nope. No comment. Did I see the back door? Yeah, you know, immediately I saw the back door and I'm like, all right, there's 10 more of them. Good luck. Go find them. Guys, of course, the things are backdoored, right? There's not. No, 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 no. We don't need to. We don't need to look for the comment. The comment's not important. We we don't need to be reading comments. We just need to be secure in ourself, man. You can't just let everybody pull you in every direction. Um, it's early. We're still waiting for some people to get in here, uh, and we will uh, show the tiny box a little more. Good morning, hype train. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the driver is, uh, is mediocre. And I think that, I think that's actually, I think that's actually generous. 
but you know. Should we, should we change it to not great? Um, but we're gonna work to make the driver great. So we wrote this KFD driver, mostly Nimblegen and Discord. Um, I did some cleanups on it. Uh, this is this is the driver that talks to the raw uh, kernel. Uh, talks straight to the kernel from the GPU. So you don't need any libraries uh, in order to use an AMD GPU with this driver. Um, we can figure out what happened here. Maybe we should, do we want to improve, if we want to fix bugs in this driver, look at all this stuff you need. I don't even know what an EOP buffer is. I know what signals are. I know what guard is. I know what current args are. I guess an EOP buffer is the only one I don't really know. Um, Okay, but let's turn this into some real documentation, okay? So I think probably, yeah, here. These are the IP blocks inside the GPU. I think maybe we'll start with that. So these are the yeah these are the like different different pieces of the GPU, and we should be able to dump registers for each one of them. Okay. Uh, documentation for the 7900 XTX, aka Navi 31, aka AMD 744C. What 744C is. Let's see, only stuff about me and. Cool. You don't learn this in uni till third year? What are you talking about, man? Learn what? Learn how to argue with large companies about their GPU sucking? Yeah, uh -huh. let's teach that in uni. I thought about doing a class before, um, but I kind of wonder if education is at all possible. Like, I, I want to tell you, I want to tell you the truth. I I've never seen anyone, like, you you know at a pretty young age whether you're ever going to be great at this stuff or not. It's very rare that I see people in their later age become great at this stuff. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be computers that you did at a young age. It can be all sorts of stuff. But like, you know, it can be math. It can be... Um, give you an idea about how to think. Dude, they're like selling you some crap. This, this, this is this totally bunk. The truth is, oh wait, why are you, you guys are subscribers. We're, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be smarter than this. The, the, the truth is, uni got into this scam cycle where they basically started admitting way too many people and then really lowered the bar for what it was. Um, if ten, five to ten percent. Let's let's look this. Up. Why why did you guys get me on this already? Uh no, we gotta go further back. Yeah, here we go. Um. Yeah, uh, that's probably more correct for, for what it should be.
Why is there all this weird racist shit on this page? The amount of the amount of racist shit on this page. Why is educational attainment in the United States racist? Like why do they keep talking about race, man? Oh, I saw another comment asking me why I supported diversity and you have to support diversity because have you not heard that diversity is our strength guys just 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 diversity is our strength you know that you know you just google it and it tells you that look let's let's google oh wow we're if we're googling diversity as our strength we really we've really gone off the rails um, but just every time you think something bad about diversity, just remember that it's our strength. Don't ask why it's our strength. Don't, don't look into supporting evidence for that fact. Just, just remember that diversity uh, is, our, is our strength. So there's that. All right, all right, all right. GPU, I will control this one guy. Diversity is our, diversity is our strength, guys. It's, it's our strength, okay? Okay, don't, 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 like, don't, don't go beyond that, okay? Just, 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 just accept that uncritically, unquestioningly. Um, remember that diversity makes us stronger. Yes. Who's Gary V? Why is chat so bad today? Is this what you guys do? You guys like still up? Were you on like a like a meth bender all night or something? We do it meth. All right, this is this is pretty good too. Here, add IP block number. Oh, let's let's bring that up here. Um, where's the driver? Which one are we in? Rich dudes fish food or rich dudes fish food? Okay, so everyone, everyone who complains about diversity, just remind them that diversity is, is our strength, guys. It's our strength, okay? We are farmers. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Figure out where these IP blocks come from. Dysfunction. Can I see where calls this? Is there a show call hierarchy? I think I like use the fancy stuff in this editor. Interesting. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. This is exactly what I expected it to be. I agree. Um, I mean, it's nowhere as good as this because that's actually sensible, but. Okay. So that's one way to get at the A6. We'll also, let's copy and paste this stuff and bring it up here. So which are these things? All right, and then we have we have firmware versions. I think that this one is better. Looks 
pretty much the same. So we kind of have like multiple ways to break down what's in the GPU here. Uh, we have definitions here. Oh yeah, how do we, did I actually ever get it to print out what files it was loading? Or did I just, how did I get these? I have a good script going for rebuilding the uh, kernel here, huh? All right, we also like, do I want to like make this markdown and start editing this nicely and have like links and stuff? I think we want these docs to be like better. Um, where's my instructions for rebuilding? Okay, uh, how do I, how do I edit markdown? Like a way to like preview markdown. Control Shift V. Did not do what I thought it would do. Switch between views. Oh, press shift command V. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right, how do I get like this to be? Yeah, we'll have a section for this. We'll have a section for this. We'll have a section for this. Uh, so this changed. of the IP blocks. Um, let's go up here and put this up here. And let's try to format this nice thing in Markdown. I want to like format a list like that and mark. I'm not. A, I'm not a markdown wizard, man. I'm just. I'm just. A, I'm, I'm a very mediocre markdown user. So I just want to let you know that diversity is our strength. Um, poor Mark Cuban. I saw. I saw. I saw the uh, title of his lex. And it mentioned it mentioned DEI and like now he's gotta like respond to that. Like, dude. I don't know. So his stuff is just like like you're out of touch with the culture, man. Um this file is on my GitHub 7900 XTX. It's not on TinyGrad's GitHub. TinyGrad will not sully themselves with the nuance of one GPU. This is my Sunday, boys. Some people go to church. I document this GPU. Um, oh, that's how you make lists. I can't wait to like, tab this in. There we go, that works. Oh, 
these parts are all parts of the CP. These parts are not. Oh, we have the IMU up there too. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, Plum Benito. We, need, we, have, we have to add a new AKA. AKA Plum Benito. with the above. I don't need a stupid version of that. Okay, we had some nice stuff going. Oh, and you know what's annoying? I don't think I can diff on this, can I? No, I wish I could though. What's the implication? You guys are always so into crap like that, man. You know, one of these days, you gotta move on. You gotta move on from that. Um, okay, I was rebuilding the kernel, but did I document it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, good. instructions or modern GPU make drivers it's my GPU okay I kind of like the idea of putting them like this Nice, that's one line. That doesn't fit on one line over there. The documentation is slightly lower quality. I'm trying to make high quality documentation, okay? Diversity is our strength. Wow. Uh, what if someone uses a slogan? Homogeny is our strength, man. That's a good slogan, too. What about the slogan? Pizza is our strength. Pizza is our strength. Uncritically accept it. Pizza makes things stronger. Pizza is the bedrock on which our society is built. Let's see if we can figure out how to... Uh, Diversity make things stronger. This guy knows what's up, man. That's right. And you know what? For the for the for the, for the eighty IQs in the room, it's this is a form of look. If you're in Soviet Russia and you want to criticize Stalin, you might not want to say Stalin sucks. That's not a very clever way to criticize Stalin. You might want to say something more along the lines of. 50 Stalins! We need 50 Stalins! Everything needs to be more Stalin! Stalin is our strength, man! And then, you see, Stalin can't really, like, like be upset with you, man, because diversity is our strength, okay? Like, it's our strength. It brings people together, like Pizza Planet. Oh shit, no way, man. No way, no way, no way. Diversity in your backyard. In Tiny Grad, we, we keep things, we keep things lean and clean and you know good. Is there a chance at ADIQ? I don't know. Who's asking those questions about going to college, man? Um college. Average IQ of college? Woo! Guys, 50 
Stalin's. Stalin is our strength. Pull pot. Uh, I wonder, oh, I bought some Cambodian solar panels recently. Um, yeah, I bought, oh, I got into, I got into solar. Solar is my new hobby. All right, I bought I bought ten solar panels. Solar panels, oh, you you can't believe how cheap these things are. I think from like from like sunlight solar or something. Sunlight solar. No, not this. This one looks like a scam. So a lot of them are scams. Um, cheap panels. I forget the name. It was it was something as stupid as Sunlight Solar. But no, no, no. All right, I'll look it up for you guys. I'll look it up for you guys because solar is my new hobby. Um, but then I'll, I'll tell you about the problems with solar. Signature solar. That's I do still have land, yes. I might go to the land today. Yeah, these people. Signature solar. See, sunlight solar scam. But if you can buy the panels, I'll show you guys the panels I bought. Wait, these ones are. Oh, it's these panels. Okay. Look at the price of these panels. 22, 23 cents per watt. Like, can you believe that? That's so cheap. Well, batteries are still expensive, okay? So batteries are expensive, but inverters and panels are cheap. But what's even more expensive than both batteries and everything is installation. If somebody figures out how to install these things cheap, like I, I, I have land, I'm tempted to just like lay them out on my land. Uh, they're also, people connect these things in series, which is really insanely dangerous. Um, like you have, if you connect these things in series, you have like a 500 volt, if you connect like 10 of these in series, you have a 410 volt DC source capable of sourcing 11 amps that you can't turn off. I don't know, so that, that sketches me out. Um, so, you know, I, I really gotta understand a lot more uh, how you're supposed to do that safely. Uh, but the panels are dirt cheap. So I bought 10 panels, just, just YOLO, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, so now we can go in and we can edit the in here let's find out how it gets the how does it get here so we have load ip firmware how does it get the file guys does it use diversity all right we're done ripping on diversity okay diversity is important to a lot of people we have to think of all the people who built their careers in diversity and if diversity goes away it's not like they're qualified to be like plumbers or solar panel installers shit if we got every diversity fuck to start doing solar panel installation. Right here. You used to be the chief diversity officer, now you install solar panels. That would make a difference and solve global warming. We could do that, we could do that. Um, well, no, I mean, series sucks too. I really like microinverters, um, but microinverters are expensive. Don't be a misogynist, bro. Women are great, okay? Stop, stop, man. You know who's a misogynist? Incels. And everyone agrees that we hate incels so much that I can't even say incel on my channel because, you know, the incel, the Fayadine will come for me or something, man. Get, you gotta lie. We don't, we don't hate incels, man. We, 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 we think that you are a misguided view on the world and we'd love to show you the light. Diversity is our strength. I know we're really, we're really going off the rails. We're really, we're really going off the rails, you know? I 
going to improve my panel's efficiency. Panels are dirt cheap. I just need to figure out how to install the panels for cheap. Wait, you're starting to feel that Hops really feels diversity is pointless? I hope not too. No, 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 you're, you're, missing, you're missing the point, guys. Diversity is our strength, okay? Strength. Um, no, you know, you know my real thoughts. My real thoughts are uh, global warming is going to kill us all, and that's why we need more solar panels, and we need more solar panel installers. And if we could repurpose the administrations of university and hospitals and get them to put some boots on and some gloves on and start installing solar panels, they too can help us fight global warming. You're on solar edge and verge with optimizers on each panel. What's an optimizer? You want to link me to one? I mean, so my understanding is that if you connect them in, in series, if one of them gets shaded, they all lose power. But if you connect them in parallel, you got to put fuses on all of them. Um, but parallel, I mean, look, DC voltage above like 50 volts is actually pretty dangerous. Uh, solar edge optimizer, let's see. Achieve your panel's full potential. So how much are these little doohickeys? What do they do? What's in them? DC is fine up to, yeah, 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 it's not like 100, but I'm saying they're using like 400 volts. All efficiency over problems can be overcome by adding more panels, I agree. You see, the problem is it's installing the panels is so expensive. Um, see if I can't pay $99 for, for an optimizer. When this is like the same, it's the same order of magnitude as the panel, which is the problem. What does the optimizer do? It's running MPPT. That's sort of interesting. All right, so my understanding of MPPT is that it does. Um, so like you have a you 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 have to present a load to the panel, and you want to present the maximum amount of load in order to, to get peak power, right? So if you present no load at all, you're going to have the highest voltage. But you're going to have no current. If you present a short circuit, you're gonna have no voltage, but a lot of current. Uh, you wanna find the point in the middle where you maximize the product. If your panels are so cheap, the upside of microinverters is pretty limited. Yeah, I just, I don't really like, uh, just from like a safety perspective, I'm kind of sketched out connecting lots of these things in series, but I don't know, I probably just have to figure out how to do it safely. Um, it looks like you have like it looks like you have like a, like a chain of like ten panels and you connect ten panels into an inverter. Um, the fancy MC four connectors seem pretty safe. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, am I connecting them to the grid? So I have to look into connecting them to the grid. I'm not interested in selling power back to the grid. Uh, so Kama has a fifty kilowatt like base load. Like I, we have we have power monitoring at Comma, and I was checking it out yesterday, and our system, our whole power draw never goes below 50 kilowatts. So I get 50 kilowatts basically for free. I don't need batteries. I don't need to sell to the grid. Um, if I can just get a system that can generate 50 kilowatts. So do I want to push power back into the grid? No. Do I want to be grid tied? Yeah, I'd rather be grid tied. But I have to look into the uh, regulations around this. Um, hopefully it's like not too hard and you just have to, do I have inverters? No, no, I bought, I bought, ten, I bought a few inverters. Um, I bought some, I bought some Chinese little inverters uh, to play with my 10 test panels. But 
the biggest problem is installation. Do you guys have any ideas? Like I want to, I, 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 no, this is for Kama. Um, well, so we're currently at, at, at office, like we had, all right, technically this is office three, but we call it office two. Uh, at office three, I want to install a two megawatt. I want a two megawatt saw, two, two three megawatts. Um, Cause again, the panels are dirt cheap. But the minute you start to like say put them on the roof or put them on a carport, you're just blowing out your entire budget on installation. Is it a flat roof? We have one section of the roof that's flat, but um, the section of the roof that's flat could probably fit like a hundred panels. And I was I was standing on it yesterday. But the problem is uh, you have to figure out how to get the panels up there, and then okay, now you got to attach it. Right, so do I have to bolt them to the roof or can I just make them heavy? Oh, just hire one Oompa Loompa. Yeah, diversity is our strength. I should hire Oompa Loompas. Can, can I get them somewhere? I heard they live in Loompa land. Um, oh, I heard about, yeah, 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 wait, let's look this up. Uh, my friend mentions this yesterday, the salt, energy storage but again I don't care about energy storage if I just have a baseline I, I just need 50 kilowatts basically if I just have panels that can generate 50 kilowatts I can buy an inverter for nothing which panels did I get uh, I showed the panels what was the name of that place again sunlight something they all have the most like solar names it reminds me of like you know my research chemicals from like all those like like uh like smart drug systems, signature solar. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's like. What was what, 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 what all like research chemical place called? The place that would sell like bath salts. Mephedrone. Um, let's look more into the pen. I bought these guys. NE Solar. Cambodia. See, I told you, it's the Pol Pot guy that got me off of this. We went from, look, okay, just to let you know that we, you, people can come out of communist hell, Pol Pot is over, and now Cambodia makes solar panels and participates in the global economy. Okay, so diversity really is our strength. Don't, don't ever doubt it. Um, I don't know. I haven't been to Cambodia. I'd like to go. Ooh, the Kingdom of Cambodia. I've been to, yeah, there's like Vietnam, Thailand stuff. I've been to Cambodia. Wait, these panels are half cell? What does that mean? <laughs> I, knew, I knew we'd have some solar geniuses in chat. I don't care if they're well paid. I care if it's cheap for me to buy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, look, man, you're wearing Nikes, bro. You know that you was child labor in Cambodia. This is important. We're understanding solar panels, right? Every time I say that, what? Diversity is our strength? Guys, it's our strength. Haven't you heard? Just, just, just ask anyone. Everyone knows this. Um, if I have a flat roof, look into installing the panels vertically or horizontally. Why are they ISO? I don't know. Um, no, but the, the whole problem is installing the panels. Installing the panels is very, very expensive. Um, I'm not even worried about the guaranteed output. I'll buy more panels. Uh, you need to think bigger. All right, we're not, we're not getting a reactor. Can I just make it heavy? Do I care about permits? Yes, I do. Well. Yes, absolutely. No, I care about following code. If, if does code say I can make it heavy? I don't know. Um, panels are heavy. <laughs> um,
Uh, I heard, yeah, I heard don't go with Tesla panels. I don't know. I, I just, I can't get over how cheap these panels are. And then they're even cheaper if you buy them in more bulk. Um, I just like, like these have come down so much in price. Well, but then also like they scam you with this, like, look, so you Google it and like 382 per watt. Yeah, but why? It's this is this is this is twenty five cents a watt. The entire utility scale PV system costs about a dollar a watt. Yeah, I think I can still do it for less. I I want to do like a two megawatt installation at the next comma office for like a million bucks. Moore's Law for solar panels. They do have install in the equation, but that's what I'm saying. The install price dwarfs the... Uh, I, I had a solar panel. My parents got me a solar panel for Christmas one year. The high install cost is the racking. What's racking? Why is this expensive? I don't care about the government rebates. I'm not here to run government scams. If I wanted to run government scams, I just rob banks. Care about the real cost. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, see, that's progress, man. I don't know if that's diversity, but that's our strength. Oh wait, wait, wait. Capitalism is our strength. Markets are our strength. See, now we're talking. Markets are our strength. Love markets, man. Everyone who doesn't love markets hasn't been properly introduced to them. Firmware type. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 I remember what this is. So how do I get the, this has to like load the firmware, right? I don't know if there's like, it's gotta be like, like there's gotta be like normal like Linux, like somehow it's actually opening this file, right? Uh, where's like lib firmware in the kernel? It's not in the kernel, it's right? somewhere else in the kernel. Documentation. Let's find the API that's used. Okay, request firmware. Just like a, oh, here we go. Request firmware. I'm not Fiji. GPU discovery, request from a file, U code request. Well, I'll just try this. Is that all of them? I mean, why is the U code request so much before the uh... this stuff? Where do I have this? Like I wrote this stuff, did I not? Why is this one that color and this one that? But I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, this is good to put in our documentation. Because here's another way we can list the IP blocks. Does this include all of them? 
INU, PFP, me, RLC, mess, mess one. Why, why is there no, there's no real MES. There's just MES one and MES two. So maybe those are the only ones we care about. Plagiarism is our strength. You know, is this a new Harvard slogan? Um, what's the verdict of the tensor? Uh, the repo for the docs is 7900XTX. It's on my GitHub. Uh, what's the verdict on the Tenstorin card? The verdict on the Tenstorin card is they have a really long software journey ahead of them. Um, like, it is easier to fix AMD uh, hardware than to try to... Uh... Yeah. To try to write software for Tenstorin. Okay, so yeah. PSP, we have those... Let's let's just add in whenever we have a name of a file. Let's add in the name of the file and let's make sure we have every file up here. put these in order. In load order. So first we load the SMU, then we load the display core next. Uh, okay, then we get to the GC, PFP, me, RLC, MEC, okay? PFP. Look at all the places there can be bugs. Okay, we also don't know yet what um, what kind of processor uh, is actually running the firmware. Okay, PFP me, I'm gonna copy and paste all this stuff so I can do it without having to scroll. Okay, me, uh, RLC goes next, I don't know. I should... Does it like make sense to keep some of these as like part of the CP and part of not the CP? Whatever. I like this ordering a lot. Run list controller. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really two of these. I don't know why I thought there were. Uh, do we have any evidence that there's two? I don't know, I'll just make it one. Constant engine doesn't seem to exist anymore. Integrated memory control utility, and let's make sure we put both the mess part on. Sorry. Uh, AMD told me they were going to open source the MES. Uh, do we believe them? They told me they were going to release a blog post a week ago. No blog post. Uh, oh, we've already bypassed all the user space. You can, this is already upstream in TinyGrad. If you run with KFD equals one. Uh, so you'll see how few IO controls it's actually using. Like this is an MNIST trainer. Um, it's actually calling way too many IO controls still. Like these weight events should not be things, but there are big org I mean, they told me they'd release a blog post by a certain date and they didn't do it. So, you know, I don't know. I have very little faith in them. Okay. So that's pretty good. We have an understanding of what each, where each piece of firmware goes. Some of these things aren't firmware. Great. Um, now let's figure out how these things correspond to these things. Okay, so I would assume that 
this thing is GFX. Uh, LSDMA6, let's see what's right. Um, video core next is here. SMUIL be this thing. That's all the SMU I have, right? So what's really cool about uh, UMR is we can do like UMR uh, not LB. We want to dump registers. Scan. That's it. So UMRS, and we can like take one of these, and then we can look at all the registers in the SMU. It's pretty cool. Um, so notice that the PSP is non-existent here. Uh, it's because they don't release this stuff for the PSP. Not that it's not here, it's that it's, when you read the docs for UMR, it says that, uh, yeah, you don't. Okay, that looks, that looks complete then. Um, what, what is DF420? It doesn't have very much stuff anyway. What's MP? One is more. I don't know what that is. In the dock last week, when you found out the CP was actually a thing. Yeah. Um, well, these are all the pieces of firmware running, and now we can like correspond them to the different IP blocks. Oh, do we miss any here? What's DM? I don't know. We found out where all those things go, so I don't know if there's more. Oh, we should also. Uh, I found those good instructions for Ubuntu kernel build source. Don't use app source. Why is Google so bad? Well, there's like a good website for this that like explains it and says don't use app source, whatever. There's like a source package you can install for the kernel. Uh, kernel source package. App get source Linux source. I feel like I didn't do that. rather have a uh, I wonder if this kernel is patched I remember we brought it 
up in the last stream. Maybe someone can find it. It was like, uh... It said, don't use app source. Instead, use this other install thing. And it was better. No, um, okay. So, my, I understand a few things about AMD now. Uh, so one, I think they pulled everybody off of Radeon and put them on Instinct, um, which also doesn't seem to be particularly good. Uh, look, AMD hasn't managed to get MI300 on MLPerf. Uh, it seems like you can only rent them under NDA. I don't know why some people are saying good things about them. I'm, I'm, very, I'm more bullish on Intel Gaudi uh, than I am on MI300. Uh, so I think, but I think everyone was pulled off radio and put on instinct. But I also think the processes at AMD are fundamentally broken. They aren't trying, they don't seem to believe in like, like APIs and like isolation and testing things in isolation. Their entire testing workflow seems to be based around applications. Meaning like what they kept asking me for was like, can you like show me an application that crashes? And I'm like, this isn't really the point, right? You're not supposed to find a single crash and then fix it. I can show you a fuzzer that makes tons and tons and tons of crashes, but does it impact your application? This isn't really the right way to think about building good software. Um, so yeah, no, I, I'm pretty bearish on like AMD getting their shit together longer term. But that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, have fun building a red tiny box, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, you have to give them a reducible, uh, reproducible crash for them to concrete fix it. Oh, I've given them plenty of reproducible crashes. That's not the problem. The the problem is that they think about it in terms of application, not in terms of like testing things in isolation. Um, I also heard that they don't have a single 7900 XTX card in CI. Like, you know, Kama is so much smaller than AMD. Our hardware total revenue from the hardware is so much lower and we have 10 devices in CI. Yeah, I, I heard they don't have a single one in CI. So, you know, ju judge that, judge that for, for, for what you will. Don't use app get source. Try racing, thank you for gifting subs. Um I don't know how to fix this. I should have I should have posted a link to it somewhere. I did. Oh, here, this one, this one, this one. Perfect. I did link to it. They deserve to lose to Intel. I mean, it doesn't matter if like what they deserve, right? Like it kind of matters. And this is kind of how I came to peace with the whole AMD situation. It's like, yeah, I mean the company, look, they're, they're just not, it's not gonna be great, I, I, but it is what it is, right? It's better than any chip I've built. So, you know, you just kind of have to accept that. Um, like until I've taped out a better chip than AMD, like, I can sit here and complain about them, but, you know, okay, well, you can buy their chip, you can buy NVIDIA's chip, or you can buy Intel's chip. They all have trade-offs. Like, engineering is all about trade-offs. 
So, you know, you just, just like, this one has a shitty driver. Uh, NVIDIA is overpriced and supports a monopoly. And uh, Intel has an underpowered GPU, right? So you have, like, just this trade-off of trifectas. Welcome to engineering. My planning a blue tiny box. Like, what the hell do you mean by planning? You know, I feel like people don't empathize with companies enough. Nice syntax highlighting like that, but there. Um, oh, the game mode is loaded via the PSP. I mean, everything's loaded via the PSP. Uh, it's not that interesting. Copy and paste. Okay, we don't care about that. That stuff's not interesting. That's not interesting. We will just have a generic section at the bottom here called links, and we'll just take all the links because I don't want to delete links. Who knows when I might need one? Put the links higher, maybe, and then this listing IP blocks thing can just go at the bottom. Shit. 
Oh, um, GP recovery equals zero is kind of interesting. Pasted that above. That's all copy and pasted above. I don't know about that. Oh, Arturus. Isn't this like, I don't know. Delete this stuff and then. section. Are these docs being sent to AMD? I'm not sending anything to AMD. Guys, they're not going to help us. I, I don't know if I was just being trolled by them or like they it's indifference or I, I it was there was a whole it was a weird interaction like i i don't know if it was capability my, my, my best guess of what actually happened is that they didn't treat what i was saying like a problem with their gpu they treated what i was saying like a problem with their pr um and they handled it like a pr problem and again, uh, you know, I, I'm, on, on, the, on the spectrum of agreeableness, I'm a pretty disagreeable person. Um, you know, they, they, they miscalculated and they thought that like, oh, you know, I'd get like a response from Lisa Sue that says we care and that that would be something. But, you know, after, after nine months, they didn't fix any bugs. They didn't open source anything. They didn't give me any documentation. Like, I'm not stupid. You know, when, when you actually look for results, they delivered none. Um, which, you know, really does say a lot about the company, too. That This also, like, it, it speaks to, if they think that approach would work with me, this is probably the approach they use to manage employees as well. So you have to think about who sticks around at, at AMD, right? Like, you don't actually have to show results. You have to, like, kind of talk about how you're going to repeatedly show results. And I see that over and over again, you know. It's interesting in our Discord to watch the difference between the AMD people and the Intel people. Um... The Intel people make me more bullish on Intel. The AMD people make me more bearish on AMD. Um, we attempted to put millions of dollars of orders in with them and they gave zero fucks back then. I'm sure it's the same now. Uh, They don't care about the end users unless you're like Microsoft or Dell or something. I mean, it's it's funny, like they don't care is kind of a, you know, I don't like that. It's like, uh, so it's like the, you know, I, I saw like a Jimmy Fallon thing once shaming Republicans for not caring about, about like mass shootings. And it's like, I think that's not exactly right. I think there's trade offs, right? So yes, it, it is definitely not, I, I would say that it is, definitely correct to say that it is not one of AMD's high priorities to make these GPUs stable for end users. Um, I mean, again, also, you know, a company is made up of a lot of people. I think there are some individuals within AMD who care, but the firmware doesn't like the, the firmware and the GPU don't get to be like this without something being broken. Now, I don't think it's different, right? The same leadership. Um, and if anything, they've gotten more and more brain drained by NVIDIA. Uh, when, when you have one dominant player like that, right? And NVIDIA can invest 
there's almost like Nvidia will pay as much money as they possibly can to make the B two hundred better. If anyone's good at AMD and Nvidia is capable of identifying that, why would you not just offer that person, you know, a, a better deal and be like, come join the winning team, you know? These particular bugs really affect enterprise users. Well, okay, so the instincts on different stuff, I don't know. I, look, I, I bought some old instincts. I found the drivers equally shit, but I don't know. Maybe the new instincts are better. Um, okay, so let's get into some documentation. Um, what's that there? Uh, but it's pretty nice. Let's, let's take a look at that on GitHub and see if it looks good on GitHub. Okay, pretty good. So, the parts that we care about, maybe, maybe we should play with system DMA because system DMA is, uh, is pretty cool. And we just added system DMA, and by we I mean Nimblegen added system DMA support to uh, Ops KFD here. So we have a this is this is really cool stuff. We can we can use the uh, the the SDMA right here, right? So maybe you want to write a you want to write something, and we'll play with SDMA a bit. We'll see what we can do. Example, not examples, extra hip GPU driver, um, test SDMA, fine. Um, I think we're going to want to import this and just use it uh, from grad runtime. No, there's a lot of crap in here I don't want. Some more should be distinct stuff. I should really break this out into classes. There's some stuff in here I do want. We really need the queues to be separate classes. I don't know, we can just create a second queue. Let's... See, that's something Copilot would help me with if I used Copilot. GPU driver, test SDMA fun, can use iOptal equals one and see what we got after. So, okay, cool. So it's, it's doing a lot of stuff. Um, probably not all things that we need to do. Like AQL ring, right? That's not actually used till the queue, is that? We can be better about like what's CTX save restore address? That's also not used until the queue, right? Yeah, see, like that's more part of the queue. I don't really want to create these queues. I don't really need the signal either. Um, what's EOP buffer? EOP buffer is again like part of this queue. Page, sync event, guard. Kernargs isn't used. I mean, Kernargs is really stupid. KL, Quire VM. I don't know. Let's just return here. Great. So all we did was acquire the VM. Um, Let's create an SDMA queue. So we have an SDMA ring here. Uh, we have to change, we can import the same KFD. Uh, we'll change that self to dev, and now we have a ring.
Oh, wow. Okay, we got a thousand people. You guys are really interested in this stuff. I guess I guess GPUs are cool. Um, okay. So what's interesting? Um, let's just start with let's just start with something very simple. So this is creating a queue. Oh, we have KIO here. We can import KIO from that as well. Um, so these are all the arguments to the queue. Uh, we have a ring base address that's SDMA ring. SDMA size, get the GPU ID from the driver. That all looks good. Okay, we do need GART as well. So GART is, if they call it GTT. We might want to use GTT. GART might be the old name for these things. Uh, but GTT, this is, um, Graphics translation table. It's an IOMU graphic card direct. So this is just, I don't really understand what the difference is between GTT and user pointer. But whatever. So this creates a queue. We can run it and see if queue creation works. Great. So you see, okay, requiring a VM. We allocate map the memory twice and then we create the queue. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Doesn't make sense to you? Try college. Have you considered college? Uh, okay, so let's create an SDMA. Oh, we have to import SDMA packets. Let's create a packet up here that's just a timestamp off. AMD SDMA. I'm gonna put that crap too. Okay. Why is KIO here, but I use KIO there and it doesn't work. Whatever. Um, so this is just a this is just a timestamp instruction, and we can put this instruction in the SDMA queue, and we should be able to see it uh, write something. Um, for address. We should just be able to, where is this? Where does this completion signal live? Uh, C times address of dev completion signal. Where do I actually create this? Signals page, it's user pointer, okay. Um, let's just allocate one more thing. We'll call it test. All right, now we can do address here. We can say test dot VA adder. Okay, so now we have this packet here. Um, we're gonna put it in, oh, we need a doorbell value. This mem move happens in the CPU. Okay, cool. So we're putting, we, we're basically, we're constructing this packet, we're putting it in the ring, and then we ring the doorbell. Where's the doorbell? Self.sdma doorbell plus equals size. Okay, that's good. I mean, we can just keep with sdma command. It's kind of good. That work or we need non locals? It might be non locals, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Let me do SDMA right pointer. Uh, oh, I want the. Should create those. Make the right pointer, 
that's great. And then we need where's the doorbell at? Oh, I have to map the doorbells. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, fine. I think I should be able to map the doorbells from the SDMA queue. We map it from the AQL queue here. Yeah, okay, that just does that. Okay. Um, oh, we need libcm map. Did this right when we look at um, what test right page here? When we look at test right page here, uh, let's print test. No, we can't just do test right page. Let's do two MV test right page cast Q. Let's print that. And then let's print that after we ring the doorbell. I don't know. Maybe throw a time sleep in there. Let's see if it's point one or something. See if we get a time stamp. Mm, oh. And that's not actually right either. We have to say uh Okay, well zero both times, so that actually didn't work. I'm also going to watch Rock MSMI. This keeps the GPU alive and then the thing runs faster. So you see the difference in the time? All right, so they're both zero, unfortunately. What did I do wrong? So I'm creating a timestamp packet, sub op timestamp get global, and I'm trying to write it to this right page here. Okay, and then I Oh, we never actually blit the command. Let's see. Uh, so let's blit the command, set the doorbell value. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this is reference before. So I don't know. Maybe we should just get rid of this. Okay, there we go. All right, and that's a that's a timestamp. Um, I kind of like the blit SDMA command. Whatever, we'll leave it. Non-local, what? What? Okay, good. So that gives us a number. That's a time. I have an idea. Actually, let's shut that down for a minute. Wait for the GPU to go to sleep. All that mess crap. See, if I wake the GPU up, the number gets small. Uh, so I bet you this number is, let's try that. I think the number's right in nanoseconds. seem right. Uh, I have another place where I look at numbers here. Hmm. 
it is 1e9. Uh, okay, let's see if we can figure out Let's try a few of these and see what we get Okay, so there we go. It's just I'm just off by one because right, we're sleeping for one. So let's sleep for a whole second and see if it doesn't increment the seconds. Nine, okay, so cool. It's actually just 1e8. I don't know why it's 1e8. It's, it's measured in 10 nanoseconds. All right, good. Good, look, we have accurate timing. So what we just did was we got the SDMA engine to write out these timestamps uh, from the GPU, which are pretty cool. Um, I think we can also just look at, let's look at SDMA read pointer and do a spin lock here. Uh, read pointer address. So we can print SDMA. Instead of doing this time.steep, we can say while uh, SDMA read pointer is not equal to SDMA write pointer. Continue. Now, well, I don't know if you let's do that as fast as we can. There you go. Is it actually writing different times though? Let's add a few more widgets to that. Yeah, great. All right, so that gives us an idea of how long these things are actually taking. Uh, we can add a time slip here. Boom, beautiful. All right, good. We're, we're using the SDMA engine. Uh, that seems pretty. That seems pretty reasonable, right? Crap from the uh, MES. Can I put kernels in the Q2 and run with the doorbell? Well, I can put kernels in the other kind of queue. So if you read the driver here, we create two kinds of queues. This is a AQL queue where you can put uh, kernels and barriers. And this is an SDMA queue where you put these SDMA instructions. All right, um, so there's some stuff in UMR where, so I'll show you the, the stuff we're using now. We can get crazy with this SDMA engine. Well, what, what, should, we, what should we do with the SDMA engine? We should be able to make it make copies. We can invalidate caches. We can do all sorts of stuff. We can have it pull regmem. We can have it wait for something. Um, yeah, tons of tons of cool stuff we can do with the SDMA engine. Let's see how big this firmware file is. It'd be cool if we could figure out how to actually like correspond these things to the firmware files. Let's also Let's take a quick dump of the uh, of the registers of the SDMA engine and see what we're dealing with here. All right, so it looks like in reality there's two queues. I think that unfortunately. This is talking to the MES. I think we actually have good knowledge that it's talking to the stupid MES. Um, yeah. Mass message 14, mass message two, mass message three. Uh, I think those are like add queue, remove queue crap. We can look in the... Uh, Okay, I mean, maybe we can make a new folder called docs and create mes.md, and then how do I link to it? Sorry, I'm not a, I'm not a, so something like that. How do I, how do I link in markdown? Can I max out the PCIe bus? We can try. I don't know, this computer's crap. I don't know what we're even connected on here. This isn't a tiny box. It's just my local box computer. 
Uh, how do I do? How do I do links? I'll probably do it in Tiny Graphics. Should just look at. So it's like this. Dispatches to the hardware keys. I, I really want them to open source this. Like, you, you think you think they're gonna come through and open source this? They told me they would. They released a timeline. Do we believe them or not? So it looks like if we go down in here, um, like SDMA actually has, actually has two hardware queues here, right? So you can see, you can see these are the hardware queues. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull those registers really quickly to see what we can get. Um, so queues have an IB and an RB, and there's two of them. has two hardware queues. We don't say appear to go on the MES. Look, all this documentation might be wrong. Um, let me get these MES messages. I think that's probably the main thing we care about here. So there are some uh, docs here, here. MES API def, MES opcode, okay, this. Ooh, the aggregated DB quantums, etc. Great. Um, so what do we do? We do a couple 14s, we do an add queue, and we do a remove queue. Great. They've shown no reason for us to trust them. Yeah, I know. Like everything is just like, oh, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. We care. I'm like you don't, man. Like, stop saying like part of, part of the thing that's just so offensive is just the, just the blatant like lying. Like why don't you just say like, look, I mean honestly, this isn't like really very important to us. We don't even have one of these GPUs in CI. Like I'm sorry, you bought one. You bought a shit product, right? Like I don't know. Just be honest and say that, right? Like this is not our, you know, okay, you don't just say we bought a shit product. You can just say, this is not our priority right now. Look, uh, and they can quote Marquise Brownlee and say, uh, look, if you're not, uh, if you're not happy with the software, don't buy the hardware. And like, I can respect that. I can respect that philosophically as a position, right? Like, look, the drivers aren't gonna get better. And I, I did, I did, I like accepted that. Like we're still selling a red tiny box and I accept that the drivers from AMD are not going to get better. Do I think they're maliciously lying? No, I think, yeah, I think they're saving face over spitting facts. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like it's, not, it's not that they don't want the driver to be better, it's just that they don't really care, right? It's, it's not a priority for them as a company. And yeah, I mean, look, people point this out. I, I think there was, a, there was a Twitter that said like, look, AMD is actually, you know, low-key happy with this situation. Uh, it just shows the value of their enterprise offering. And like, 
Yeah, I think that there, I think that there's definitely truth to that, right? I, I, the person who I feel really bad for is the person who like bought this GPU and like tried to use it at home for machine learning, and the person who actually like saved up money and bought this GPU. Look, you know, I buy these things, and like again, AMD is very nice. They offer to buy my GPUs back, right? I do the same thing at Com. I'm like, look, if you're really having that bad a time, and this is why we have a 30 day money back guarantee. Like, I just don't want you to have our product. Um, uh, um, if everyone's abandoning consumer GPUs, well, they're not. What the 4090s work incredible. You want to see a great tiny box? Check out tiny 15. Tiny 15 is a green tiny box. I have never seen any bugs with it. It's just, it's just amazing. Like, you're not going to find any problems with that. It's expensive, but, you know, you get what you pay for. Well, so I don't know about abandoning consumer GPUs. All right, like, those are the, that, there's the, there's, that's a tiny box green, and I'll show you a tiny box red. There's a tiny box red. Someone's using it for something. Someone's using it. <clears throat> um, no, I mean, NVIDIA, the, again, a huge red flag, and people buying MI300 should understand this, is that AMD forked their driver, basically, two generations ago. Uh, D message W on red? That's weird. I don't know where the D message went on Tiny13. Oh, someone else probably has D message W open and it's consuming. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know here. You want to go to like 11 or something? 11 is an AMD as well. There you go. Um. Event page is already set. Maybe it'll be a split skew of gamer consumer and AI consumer. No, I mean, these, these drivers are, these same bugs exist for gaming too, right? Go online and search for like, my AMD GPU crashes three hours into every game. So these are the real, uh, goes on the MES, which then dispatches to the hardware queues of their respective uh, hardware blocks, right? So let's, this is, these are all the commands. Let's look into um, adding and removing queues. So again, we can just copy and paste the APIs from the kernel driver here. Um, cool, so these are pretty much the same. Okay, so this is, this is the, wait, what, union? I hate unions, man. No, actually, I don't know if I hate unions, okay? I was thinking about unions, and I was thinking maybe engineers need to unionize. But, like, it can't be, like, lame unions that are actually commie shit, right? Like, like engineers of the world unite. If, if all the engineers of the world stopped making stuff shitty, like, nothing would be shitty. The business people would just, it'd be like the guy in Atlas Shrugged who's, like, pushing the coal train through the, uh, through the thing, right? If engineers stop, like... Like, they don't, we don't need them. They need us. And it, 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 you know, it's the same, they, they use manipulation tactics um, that like, I don't understand why so many people fall for them. They don't have anything you need. 
you understand how the world works. They don't. I don't, I don't know. That's, I mean, this is how I've always viewed it. And I don't know why. You don't care about removing. So this is how you add a Q to the MES. Uh, no, then why do they have the power? Well, they have the power because they're good at manipulating people. Right? That, that, that's, their, that's their skill. Um, hopefully, yeah. I, I mean, I think also, like, the, at least what's happened kind of with the U.S. government is nobody really wanted these jobs. So, I mean, the worst sort of people took them. And yeah, now like we're ruled by the worst sort of people. Well, I think things might change. Uh, I, I'm hoping that what AI ends up doing, people think AI is gonna automate engineers and you can't really automate engineers. Um, I mean, you can automate certain parts of engineering, but engineering itself is still complete. Meaning that th there's two ways things can happen, but most things almost always happen. Okay, computers don't replace jobs. It's not like there was a job that, like take the job of accountant, right? Computers did not replace accountants. There's still a job called accountants. It's just what one accountant can do today took 10 accountants in the past. Um, computers are tools, at least for now, that help people be more efficient and, and productive. So there is a sort of, it's gonna be very interesting to see how these AI systems evolve and what skills they are actually capable of replacing. Uh, if you notice, GPT is very, very good at writing. Um, you know, it writes a lot like these people where it can't really write code. People think it can code. <laughs> you don't know what coding is. Uh, try to allow engineering to lead product. Well, no, I'm not talking about, there's also, there's, there's also a role for like, product is a real thing. Operations are a real thing. These are real things, right? There's no, like product is engineering. You, there may be some engineers who just want to build. There may be some engineers who want to do product work. That's totally fine. The key thing is, is that they're, they're, that like everyone is sort of following the engineering mindset. And the key thing about the engineering mindset is that what you are manipulating is things and not people. It's the people manipulators who need to go. Um, you know, whether you're manipulating, look, a designer is an engineer. There's no, there's no distinction there, right? You're just, you're just engineering a different thing. A everybody, everybody who creates is an engineer. Everybody who, 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 well, let's talk about who's not an engineer, right? An administrator is not an engineer. Um... Yeah, the, the people who got into uh, the people who got into offshoring, the people who got into like all forms of outsourcing, right? Look at what destroyed Boeing. Boeing went from having engineers to like not having engineers. The customer support engineer, yeah, to an extent. I do think there is a somewhat distinct role from engineering, which is operations, which means you keep systems running. There, there, there's somewhat of a distinction between building the system and maintaining the system, right? like a technician who maintains the system. They're not quite an engineer, right? It's, it's more of an operational role, but there's nothing like, like this is a very legitimate role also. Um, they're not in the group of people who I'd like to exclude. Yeah, this is what destroyed America, totally, completely. Um, like this, this, this parasitic class basically took over. Uh, well, Boeing lost a culture of quality in lieu of capital gains, but it wasn't the same people, right? Boeing forced certain people out, basically, um, you know, and put certain other people in. I think the, the stock market's responsible for a lot of these negative incentives. 
again, the best I can hope to do is I want you to, if, if you know, people blame the merger. I'm not so sure it's the merger. Um, the merger wasn't great, but why did the merger happen? No, it's the whole idea of it's the whole idea of outsourcing. Where you can't go public. I mean, Wall Street is certainly responsible for a lot of this. Um, and I think at the root of you get to you get to the real root of all of this, and it's the fake money. If the money wasn't fake, the thing about the money being fake, and this is the difference between gold and uh, and fiat and Bitcoin. Right, Bitcoin and fiat are the same in this way. I think I think we'll we'll even we'll even write this in a document because it's important enough to understand. Okay. How do you get more gold? How do you get more fiat? Okay. This is this is this is the. If you understand this, you understand what happened, and you can start to correct it, okay? How do you get more fiat? Manipulate the guy with the money printer, okay? How do you get more gold? Manipulate the ground. that if we have a fiat currency, we're gonna live in a society that manipulates people. If we have gold, we're gonna live in a society that manipulates things. We have to get rid of fiat currency. Now, how do you get more Bitcoin? So Bitcoin's somewhere in the middle. All right, one way is to mine it, but the other way is to manipulate the guy with, with commit access to source code, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, manipulate the source code, fork it, etc. Right. So the, the the problem with Bitcoin, and the reason it doesn't, it's not going to to succeed, is yeah, these this problem. And you think, oh no 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 no, twenty one million, it's a meme, it's not going to change, it's going to change. It's been around for so little time. The switch from proof of work to proof of stake for Ethereum is what totally lost my interest in crypto. I just realized that these things were not going to like, if they can just change proof of work to proof of stake like that, there, there's no, there, there's no lindiness at these chains. Oh, Bitcoin's been around since 2010. Yeah, like less time than like the housing crisis, right? There, there's no, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate that unless you can figure out how to build, and I'm not saying it's impossible, it is an engineering challenge. If you could figure out how to build a system that's actually, forking it is a little bit different, but you can manipulate the source code. And do, do you think that the Bitcoin source code would be able to stand up against a sustained attack from the CIA? Do you really think 21 million could stand up against a sustained CIA attack? Right? You know what could stand up against a sustained CIA attack? The gold. The CIA could devote all their resources into turning lead into gold, and I don't think they're going to have a good time. No, you say there are so many nodes, right? But, but how redundant are those nodes truly? Right? And let me explain to you. Do you not understand how the CIA works? Right? The, the, the CIA figures out, okay, here's the node operators, here's so we can nudge the narrative a tiny bit. This is how you do it as an intelligence agency. 
you figure out how to nudge it a tiny bit. Okay, how can we, we're not going to go straight for advocating 42 million Bitcoin. Right? That's not going to work. We're going to talk about how to slowly infiltrate the organization, how to slowly get people receptive to these narratives. We're going to come up with a 10-year plan. Fundamentally, because you can manipulate people, I don't know how to do strike through in this editor, but it will not be things. It will be people. Gold works because no matter how hard, no matter how hard the CIA tries, right, there's no one you can manipulate to, to get gold. Um, no, you don't even have to cut the internet cables. You're not thinking about how this works. It's not going to be some, some, some major event to bring down Bitcoin. This is apocalyptic fantasy. This isn't actually how you do this stuff. You slowly, over many years, subtly manipulate a group of people to start believing the things you want to believe. You want them to believe, and then you make the change. You can't do that with gold. You can't subtly manipulate the ground. This is why we live in a fucked society, okay? As long as the reward function is the manipulation of people, this right here is why engineers are ruled by, by you know, the, the psychopaths that rule us today. Sure sounds like if the money's gold, well, who do you want? Well, shit, man. How do we move? How do we move a thousand tons of rock? Who figures out how to do that? Engineers. What if the state bans the use of gold as a currency? Well, that's a bad state. If that's a bad state, and you should use violence against that state. He who controls the spice. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is why I don't think Bitcoin works. This is why I don't think crypto works. Unless someone... The forks are less of a problem. You can always fork. People can always like change their mind about what's valuable. But as long as source code manipulation is possible, hopefully everyone understands this from the XZ thing, right? Like th that, that's, that's, that's an attack and a little bit different. But yeah, right? Systems are not resilient to this. Gold is resilient to this. And until we move back to a hard currency... Uh, we're going to continue to get more of this crap. Yeah, the mining pools are, it's not, it doesn't work. Like, it was a cool idea, and there very well may be uses for some of the technology, but as a source of money, eh, you can't just, you can't just make money out of thin air. You, you can't do it, and you're running into all the same problems here. Right? The money has to be tied to some natural reward function. You know, I want you to think about like how we're going to get more gold. What are we going to do when we run out of gold on Earth? Right? We're going to go to the stars. We're going to we're going to we're going to mine asteroids. Right? Asteroid mining. Who does asteroid mining? You can't manipulate people to mine an asteroid. You have to manipulate things. Yeah, Bitcoin. I mean, it has already failed. I, I do think that as a cash replacement, there definitely can be cryptocurrencies that replace the usage of cash. Um, which is funny enough, the exact opposite of where they're going. Uh, I would like to see someone make a $5 hardware wallet. You can make a $5 hardware wallet out of an ESP, uh, and then you sell them like cash. And if you could start paying with them like cash, you get a lot of the convenience of credit card, but with the same like, uh, decentralized nature of cash. I, I think there's definitely uses for crypto technology, but the use is not as a fundamental store of money because you can always manipulate the people. You need something where you can't manipulate the people. Uh, oh, can I put all reduced bandwidth? Well, <laughs> we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. Wait till we get to the SDMA of the, uh, of the NVIDIA. Um, what if it's tied to energy production? Who ties it to energy production, right? Like energy is a fundamental thing. Sure, you can totally, you can totally, energy works. Energy works in the same way gold does. You have to think of how you get more of it. Right? How do you get more energy? Can you manipulate people into giving you more energy? No. You have to manipulate things. Your money must be based around... What your money is based around is what your society will get. Mm. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is kind of the conclusion I've come to. And, yeah. 
No, the market without speculation wouldn't grow as fast. This is not true. This is not true. Speculation is purely a tax. Now, okay, uh, let me define speculation, right? Speculation does not mean investing in something you expect to yield returns. Speculation means you're investing in something that you expect to be early in and expect other people to also invest in so that you can get your money out using their money, right? That's how I define speculation. You see the distinction? Who fundamentally pays you back, right? Investment is not speculation. If you invest, if, if you have a, if a farmer has, you know, a thousand acres and needs money to buy tractors so that he can effectively farm the acres and you loan him the money for tractors, um, this is not speculation, right? That's an investment. But if you don't believe that the farmer's ever going to actually produce any crops, but you think that you can pump farm coin, right? And the only way you're ever going to get money out is because suckers are going to come in after you and buy farm coin. That's speculation and it's purely a tax on the market. What's Bitcoin obituaries? Oh, is this people who say Bitcoin's over? Yeah, this isn't like, again, it's not that Bitcoin's going to die, right? I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying Bitcoin's going to go to zero. Bitcoin may very well go to $250,000, right? I'm just saying that Bitcoin is not a, a replacement for, for fiat currency. It may be better but it doesn't fundamentally solve the problem of fiat currency which is that you can manipulate people to change it you can't manipulate people to get more gold you can't manipulate people to get more energy you have to manipulate things no btc works because people can always use choose to use something else replace btc there with usd and you get the same argument usd works because people can always choose to use something else Bitcoin is based on energy. So that's an interesting argument. Um, this is what's wrong with proof of stake, right? So the minute Ethereum switches to proof of stake, it's the biggest joke of a biggest joke of a thing. It is interesting that Bitcoin is still tied to real proof of work. It, I, I, you know, I almost think that a lot of those environmental narratives, those might have very well been the CIA, right? The, the, the environmental, the environmentalist attack on Bitcoin, the only thing that ties Bitcoin to reality and why I'm much more bullish on Bitcoin than Ethereum is that Bitcoin has this proof of work function, which requires the manipulation of things, right? Bitcoin is mined. How do you mine more Bitcoin? Well, you, okay, you need more power. You can make better ASICs, right? Again, these are things. How do you mine more of a proof of stake? You manipulate the source code, right? There's, so the fact that Bitcoin is tied to a real thing, but it would require everybody to recognize that thing as the true value, right? So it's very possible that everybody who's, you know, pushing those environmental narratives. Remember how I said, I didn't even think about this when I was saying it, but remember how I said the CIA would do it, right? They're not going to do it by advocating for 42 million Bitcoin. They're going to do it by coming up with a narrative that can be used to attack and fracture a community. Bitcoin wastes energy for nothing? No, it doesn't. This is wrong, right? That energy is in of itself, right? It's, it, it, if everybody recognized that burned energy as the true value of Bitcoin, then it works. Right? Otherwise, it's just fiat money. But the problem is it's too easy to change. If there was a... Okay, fine. I'll give, I'll give a caveat for what would make Bitcoin okay. If everybody accepted the mining, the SHA-256 mining as, and SHA-256 wasn't broken and all that, right? That's just good crypto, that's possible. If everybody accepted that as the true source of value of the coin, then that works in the same way gold does. Because you're manipulating, whether you're manipulating the ground and digging or whether you're manipulating math and energy, it's all the same thing. The point is you're still manipulating things to get more of it, not people. Crypto is a great tool against authoritarian governments. Uh, it remains to be seen. Um, Bitcoin creates the best incentive for fusion power in ASICs. Yes. Yes, as long as that is true, um, then it works. Then it works. I, I, okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll temper my views on crypto a little. I'm bullish on proof of work. I'm bullish on hard proof of work.
if you see the CIA as a goal to manipulate Bitcoin, you mean they see it as a danger and the network actually has value? I mean, yeah, sure, it's a, like a thing. I mean, again, like the CIA manipulates Nicaragua, right? Do they see Nicaragua as a threat? I mean, you know, I don't know. But yeah, no, I mean, also the, the, the culture in crypto is so unbelievably toxic. Uh, which is just, again, CIA? All right, I don't want to talk about crypto anymore, but I, I, you know, I think that like there's a class of people who need to be excluded from society, and they're the class of people who've gotten to where they've gotten to by manipulating other people. Um, they don't provide any value, and uh, yeah, I, I think their time is up. Okay. Not middlemen. No, 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 no. Let's be very distinct about this, right? Middlemen, everyone always talks about excluding middlemen. Um, yeah, you can work to make markets more efficient, but middlemen at most are taking, you know, 10, 20, 30 percent, right? Middlemen are taking a, a, a small-ish percentage, right? Middlemen are not taking over 50 percent of the value, only in rare cases. I'm not arguing against middlemen here. What I'm arguing against is things that are taking 10x the value. What I'm arguing against is the administrative class. Right? The administrative class are notably not middlemen. The administrative class are, the, the best way to think about them more is like nobility. But this, is, this, is a, this is a, I mean, this is a French Revolution style thing. Right? It's, 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 they're a, they're a no, they're an, I think there was a Sowell's book, uh, Vision of the Anointed. Right, the anointed ones. They're, they're really a nobility. They're, 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 they're blue bloods. Is that, is that the word? Whatever, I forget the, I forget the color of the blood. But, but yeah, no, they, 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 are, they are the closest thing we have to royalty. And this is not royalty that I respect, right? Like, let's, I don't know, let's, let's get the, you know. All right, look, we don't even quite a guillotine, right? But I'm not advocating violence here. I'm just saying you have to exclude these people from your organization uh, you know, you have to exclude these people from polite society. It's not okay what they did. All right, no more, no more shilling for Bitcoin. You heard my take. Hard money with proof of work that doesn't change over long periods of time, fine. Watching Ethereum change from proof to work, proof of work to proof of stake, proves that that coin is infiltrated beyond belief. I want to get another Twitch warning. What? Twitch, do they care about this? This isn't even like, is this, is this extreme politics? Right, this is just like, I don't know. I don't know how it's not obvious to everyone. I think, I think in 10 years, in general, what I found with these things, it's interesting. Like I remember, look, I'm kidding about the diversity is our strength stuff. Like it's such a meme at this point, right? Like it's such a, I, I, those, yeah, I, I couldn't believe you know, someone actually thought that I took this stuff seriously, right? But I also don't take the anti-stuff seriously, right? I'm not like anti-DEI and we need to ban critical race theory in our schools and like this Republican garbage, right? Like it's not, some of it's good, some of it's bad. Um, like it, it's not, it's not like a, you take a position on that on either side, it's kind of ridiculous, right? I think I mean, it all comes back to Gamergate. Um, you know, 2014 Gamergate. You see this, and at first I didn't understand what was going on. At first it was very confusing, and then it starts to make sense, and you see that, you know, you see the two sides kind of fall out. and um, Yeah, and it took kind of like 20, it took 10 years uh, for the world to, like, catch up on. I think everybody kind of gets it now. There's a few people who still don't. Poor Mark Cuban. Um, but what I'm saying now, I think, is kind of what people are going to realize in 10 years. No, I don't think everybody can agree with what I'm saying. I, it's not, it's not, I mean, that's not a question of agreeing, right? Like, obviously, what I'm saying is... Um, is, 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 it's not like wrong, right? It's, it's a clear argument, but it, it's not about like, if everybody started to 
understand and internalize what I'm saying here, the systems would fall apart. You have to, you have to stop making a deal with the devil. Everybody in any position of power anywhere, like stop tolerating this behavior. Stop tolerating this, 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 this blue blood nobility behavior. Exclude them from your organizations. Um, you know, unfortunately, like Google did a really bad job of this, and you see what you get today. Uh, so, you know, I, I think uh, Elon's doing a very good job of this, right? I, I think Elon has, has managed to exclude these people from his organizations and has seen extreme progress because of it. None of, my, none of my encounters with Elon or any of Elon's people were any of them like this. Whereas, like, you know, you, you, look, at, you look at AMD and, you know, less true, right? If you do what in Spain, you end in jail. I'm not talking about, wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying do anything illegal. I'm just saying, like, don't hire these people, right? Don't hire these people. Don't work for these people. Don't respect these people. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. No, once you've hired them, but no, you have to fire them, right? If you ever, if you live in a country where you can't fire people, look, I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm, I'm not advocating for anything remotely illegal. I'm just saying, exclude these people, right? George needs to create his own hardware company. I have two hardware companies. Uh, no, I mean, I think that, like, uh, again, I, I don't understand how. I think that engineers are fundamentally uninterested in this. I was uninterested in this. I, I, I'm not really, I'm not interested in power. I, I, I'm interested in figuring out how to engineer systems such that this kind of extractive power is impossible. I, I don't want it myself. And you have to be really careful of that too. There, there, there's some people who, who, you know, again, the best way I think to think about it is like royalty. And there's some people who, the main thing that they're upset about is not that there is a king, but that they're not king. Uh, yeah, it, it's not about it's not about replacing right. Like like the solution to white supremacy is not black supremacy. Okay, like it's 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 the solution to white supremacy is not white supremacy. Right, the the solution to the king is not a different king. It's no king. Well, again, you have to think about who's pushing identity politics. You have to think about where this stuff's coming from, right? It, it's coming from a nobility that is desperately trying to stay in power. And I mean, I just I think, I think their time's up. Uh, having a good king works far, far better than a representative government. Well, yeah, I agree with this, right? I'm not, I'm not, um... You know, against that, I, I'm saying that I don't generally think that that trade-off is worth it. Um, I, I believe in, in I believe in liberalism. I, I think that you know these people who you know see people on the on the right who are saying stuff like you know we tried liberalism and it failed. Eh, I don't know about that. I, I don't agree with that. I think that we tried liberalism and it was exploited in a certain way and the pendulum needs to swing back and you know again we have to identify this this the professional managerial class the administrative class the, the new royalty the blue bloods and, you know we just have to exclude them that's fine it was it was they exploited us and, you know okay fine we have the lost years and it, you know it swings back sounds suspiciously close to a pitch for democracy well, not direct democracy, but yeah, representative democracy. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm an American, right? I, I believe in the American system. Um, that prevents outliers from taking power. Well, 
look, look at what happened after World War II, right? Everyone, everyone reacted strongly against, against Hitler, um, against systems that looked like that, and we enjoyed a great 20 years. Uh, so yeah, you know, that's it. These things don't last forever. So it's a, it's an eternal struggle between, between scammers. And, um, all right, you want to see mescues, right? What's my opinion on AMD making data center cards? I think that AMD needs to get their fundamentals solved uh, before they try to, uh, you know, if they want to compete, um, they should solve these fundamentals. All right, let's go to the bathroom and then let's figure out how to find these MESQs in R. Tangents of these streams are so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. So maybe what we should do is add some debugging to add an acuity MES. Let's see if we can add some debugging here. I really like how we have a good cycle where we can like recompile these things pretty well. Um, Submit packet and pull completion. How do I enable this DRM debug? DRM debug isn't mm, there's gotta be a better way to do it. Oh here we go. Enable verbose DRM logging. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, look, that's much better. All right, great, and we don't need that crap. Cool. Uh, I don't know, why did I only enable it? Debug output. Wait, which one did I not enable? VDL messages. I don't know. Let's try that. No, I didn't get more. Okay. What is this? 
AMD GPU IH process. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's delete that other second FPS print that I had. I don't know. Is that, that was the same as that. We'll, we'll just leave it as that. Then. Let's assume that that thing looks better. Cool. That might be a callback. Delete the extra print K. I love how fast this rebuild is. Interesting. So let's let's read the code here for set ring pointer. I mean, I, I just kind of guessed that it was going through the MES. I guess it technically doesn't have to be. Uh, yeah, okay, but you can see there that unregisters the queue. I don't know what any of that crap is. Didn't happen again. Okay. Um, it's also very notable that these numbers keep going up. It's not actually resetting something. It looks like, yeah, okay, interrupt handler. Cool. So it gets a call back every time it finishes stuff. Probably a way to listen to those in user space. QD size. The site has some hilarious AMD reviews. All right, let's see. Them. This one, if you want to compare them. AMD overhyped their product launches because it's effective at getting first time buyers to pay over Amazon. <laughs> Wait, this is brutal. Oh my God. Wait, the guy thought I was mean? AMD's domination of social media platforms has historically resulted in millions of users purchasing substandard products 
Those users will be very hard, if not impossible, for AMD to win back. If this trend continues, semiconductors may become more of a secondary business line for AMD, who appear to be focused on developing advanced marketing relationships with select YouTubers and media outlets. <laughs> Actually fine, uh, yeah. No, but they're really, they're not gonna change. It's just so sad. Like I don't even think there's anything wrong with this hardware. I really don't. I really don't think this is a hardware bug. I think it's just the software that's crappy. <laughs> Despite steady price cut and increased number of seasoned gamers simply have no interest in buying AMD products. They simply know from bitter experience that headline average FPS are worthless when they are accompanied with stutters, random crashes, excessive noise, and a limited feature set. Perfect. Okay, I would not say they're noisy. Or the feature set doesn't even bother me, but the stutters and random crashes, yes. No, like, but this, this, this exactly explains. This exactly explains my treatment for AMD. Okay? They're more focused on, yeah, they're more focused on the PR aspect than actually fixing the damn GPUs. Okay, here's the Nvidia. Here's the here's the Nvidia. Right? This is this is a perfect perfect apples to apples. These aren't these aren't comparisons. This is a quote from GPU. Oh, I guess that's a user, but still. Here's the same one from. Uh, the RTX 3090 is based on blah 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 blah. Performance gains will depend on specific game resolution resolution with a 4090. Uh, the fact that that the. That the 4090 is currently the fastest growing graphic card available is reflected in its jaw dropping MSRP. Since PC gamers rarely buy NVIDIA GPUs, NVIDIA really only have themselves to compete with. Surprisingly, it's actually a reasonable value for money. <laughs> okay, so the complaints are that it's expensive and large. Yes. See, the thing is, when something just works, no, he's not praising the NVIDIA drivers, right? You just wouldn't think that the drivers don't work. You wouldn't expect the product to randomly crash. So it doesn't even talk about that. All it just says is that the GPU is expensive and large, which are true. Like, yes, the, the MSRP is jaw-dropping, and they've gone even up in price, right? They're now, they're now, it's like a 4090 tracker. Okay, they're coming down a little. Look at look at this. They've literally come up. Like I used to read stuff like that, and I used to think that this guy just had like one bad experience with AMD. I, I used to think that like okay, this is just one guy who holds a grudge against AMD, right? Like people might think that about me too, but like I really don't. I just want the driver to work. Like, you know, it's not like Sony. Like, Sony sued me. These people made a shitty driver, right? I hold a grudge against Sony. I don't hold a grudge against AMD. If, if AMD, you know, started open sourcing their stuff and documenting their stuff and saying, look, we are actually going to take steps required to make it better. We're going to put these GPUs. They didn't have a 40. They didn't have a, they didn't have one in CI. They don't have a single one of these GPUs in CI. As far as, as, that's the best intel I've got. And like, it shows. I don't get it. They spent, they spend a hundred million dollars. 50 million maybe. They spend 50 million dollars to tape out Navi 31. And then they don't spend, you know, a couple tens of thousands of dollars to get a decent CI machine working. 
it doesn't make sense. I've heard I've heard the theory that AMD is just controlled opposition for Nvidia. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, but yeah, I mean this is this is just this is so brutal. I mean, again, their stock price also includes the AMD Epic CPUs are great CPUs. I have never had any problems with them. Um, the tiny box is going to use them. I've never complained about them. They're, they're better than Intel. They have a ton of PCIe lanes. They're pretty fast. Oh, come on. That, the cousins thing is, um, yeah, rivalry. Uh, yeah, you rival with your cousins. Um, But no, I, the everything about the look. This is not any criticism of AMD Epic CPUs. They probably have them in CI. Um, it's just that these these GPUs just don't like. Why do they keep doing it? Almost like like I I, I kind of think they're just gonna give up. The seven hundred XTX may be the last high performance graphics card from AMD. Like right, like either either stop doing it. I don't know, or maybe they sucker enough people into buying these things. Uh, if if I were if I were just average Joe gamer, I would never buy one of these cards. Or average Joe ML guy, right? Like I actually, yeah. Guess what? I, I like dealing with this crap, right? Like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm that kind of person. Uh, <sighs> No, even for budget gaming, just buy a cheap NVIDIA one. Like, it's just going to be over for them soon, unless... If, if their market share falls too low, games won't even bother testing on them anymore. Yeah, I'd rather get a 2080 for ML. I mean, seriously, you should. You have a 4060 Ti. Yeah, great card. It's made by NVIDIA. It doesn't have these problems. So what happens if I don't use a doorbell? Oh, interesting. Can I disable the doorbell somehow? Where's the AMD GPU ring? It's interesting. Ooh, provided by hardware blocks that expose a ring buffer for commands. So I'm not really sure what the MES is doing here. I probably, okay, I, I kind of see what's happening. So the SDMA engine is being set up by the driver and then is being handed over to the MES to actually put things in the queue. I think the queue I created was an MES queue. But I'm not sure if these cues are one to one. How am I best gonna link to Linux kernel stuff? Does the doorbell take both? I don't think you know what you're saying. Um, so, 
Yeah, I mean, it seems kind of like... There used to be a flag to disable the MES. Let's just try it. I mean, it, there's a chance it still works. I say like, like, there's like a flag. AMD GPU disable MES. Um, oh. Enable micro engine scheduler log. Interesting. I did not know there was a log. Enable mess log to enable, oh, let's see. Let's see what we can get. Logs are great. Nope, doesn't exist. Oh, look at how recent that is. Oh, disable it and enable it if necessary. Okay, so it's enabled by default. Now it's not enabled. Oh, okay, there should be a file in debugging events called MES event lock. Okay, we're about to take it out. Good thing we got it before they took it out. Now they're just gonna get it behind a flag. Okay, so where the hell is my MES event log, right? Debug FS, create, oh, should be defined, yeah. What? Okay, so it seems like this kernel is too old to... Set hardware res packet. Okay, so it seems like they enabled the log and then added in a gate to gate the log. Okay, that's reasonable. Oh, okay, this is, whoa, whoa, this is cool. Yeah. Okay, 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 we're making progress here. Take a look. So there's, there's these pipes. Ah. MES set hardware resources. Well, that, that must have happened. Let's see if we can find when that happens. That hardware resource is just zero there. Um, just stop doing that for a little bit, let the GPU turn off, and then we'll see it turn back on, and we'll see if message zero gets emitted. All right, so that unloads the GPU. Let's reload the GPU. Mm. Booting up. Ah, here we go. Message zero, message 11. Okay, so we, we here, we set hardware resources right here. Cool. Again, there's supposedly a way to disable the MES. Um, and then maybe these things will get submitted directly to the, uh, to the pipes. MSI. Enable micro engine scheduler. Module param named. Can I just say MES equals zero? Is that all? New engine pipe for KIQ. All right, let's, let's just try it. MES equals zero. That crash is fine. Let's try this again and see. No, it still uses the MES. Okay, that's just completely ignored. You can see that the MES is still being used here. 
Okay, so it probably can't actually be disabled. Unless it's AMD GPU MES. Let's read the code this thing. No, no, no. Um. But yeah, there's eight compute pipes, two graphics pipes, and two SDMA pipes. We don't actually know. The MES might actually also be perfect and not be any of these problems. These problems may lie much deeper. Uh, but okay, so it looks like, like it's just responsible for uh, it has all the cues and there's some code in here that does all the, the ring buffer shit. I don't know why it doesn't load that, but whatever. Did I just miss it? Does it actually load that? I had to print all the firmware that was loading, right? Just MES anywhere? No, it just loads MES2 and MES1. Okay. Hey, you know what would be cool? Remember that time two Tenstor engineers came in and answered all my questions about Tenstor? We got any AMD engineers in here who are going to answer all my questions about AMD? understand I think everything that's going on if we want we can sniff these at high I mean let's just throw a watch on there sorry I gotta make it small so we can see um all right let's just throw that in a loop maybe reduce the sleep a little bit fast as we can. Why is nothing changing? The Python seg bolted? Python seg fault. Oh, I. Whatever. Uh, the Python seg faults because it eventually overruns. No, I'm modding based on the ring. Oh, it might not be a uh, multiple. Make the ring bigger. Why do I not see anything going into the queue? There's two queues here.
There's an SDMA command here, too. Looks like I'm talking to the wrong thing. It's clearly not true, but whatever. What is that reading? That's working. Right? There we go. Oh, what does RLC2 mean? All right, so there we go. I mean, this is, this is the queue here. Oh, I actually bet that's the address from user space. I don't know, actually. That I'm not sure about. Uh, oh, that's probably, no, that's probably pre-MES. I don't know. Let's look at the UMR code. Let's look at the UMR code and see uh, where... I should call this one. Sorry about the tiny. Print SDMA. Read SDMA register. Okay, RB base. ASIC. Oh, there's like these RLCs. Oh, I might have just been looking at the wrong thing. Notice how there's no RLCs here. Are these actually just in the MES? Where's the MES? GFX. So that LSDMA might not actually be. Interesting. Okay, that's not, I don't know what LSDMA is, but LSDMA is not. Oh, there's system DMA and other DMA. I see. Okay, so that's just totally not. Oh, and now they have multiple cues on them. Oh, man. Okay. Well.
know if I'm using SDMA0 or SDMA1. There was some way to control that in HSA. So I'm surprised there's not a way to control it here. Maybe it's just like every other queue is put on. Yeah, how do I control which one it's on? Why is this still going? Let's copy it. Why, why, why is something running? Wait, literally, what's happening? Why does that keep going? What's talking to my GPU right now? Coming back to Earth, man. Error, module is in use. What's it in use by? Someone's hacking my GPU. What is going on right now? Why is something doing this? That? Oh, that maybe. Oh, I see. Wow, okay, I didn't realize that was active. Okay, uh, well, I didn't realize that was active, but fine. Whatever. All right, let's look at the right SDMA now. Just look at SDMA zero. Oh, there it is, it's Q2. No, it's not Q2. Which of these are changing? And then Ucode data is obviously going to change. Okay, whatever. Um, how do I do watch with this? What's the incantation? Something like that work? Alright, there we go. I just need to put that in quotes. Cool. Uh, let's do that more aggressively. Great. So it's basically the same thing that the other app was doing, but I don't think it's going to. Uh, there's like a command in, in UMR that dumps the SDMA queues, but it's doing something active on the GPU. So the reason I think there's two is that you can be you can send from and to the GPU at the same time. See again, I mean if they put effort into this hardware, why don't they put any effort into software? All right, look. So you can see the uh, pointers changing here. Um, very 
notably is that those are real user pointers. I don't know why that doesn't seem to be a real user pointer. Uh, let's, let's just go in here and print out my address. Um, Value? No, I can't say doorbell value. Just say the VA address, okay. Uh, let's do colon x on that. Zero x. Alright, cool. Uh, is that the same address we see in the watch? 71F. No, it's different. Oh, stupid MES. It's like almost the same, but 2A85, 2AE1. No, see, it's creating. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are just the pointers. Oh, that can, that can be the same. That's fine. Maybe those are the real pointers. Let's print the pointers. That one's so big. It's not right. Is that, oh, because I didn't do X. I think that's the same. D9, 2E4, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the MES is actually really doing anything here. I don't know why it exists, but it just looks like it's writing directly. Update okay, my documentation. Uh, Oh, light SDMA. Oh, that's interesting. There's one there, SDMA packet. Seemingly supplemental SDMA packet. Small SDMA hardware. Bottleneck for sharing resources. Interesting. And we'll add this to links. So actually, it's possible that this SDMA just doesn't matter. And the, there's, no, this, I'm sure there's still, I'm sure there's still firmware somewhere. So pretty cool. Maybe the MES is just ringing the doorbell too, because I don't see doorbell being updated here. Why do these cards have so many code names? What do you mean, man? It's, it looks like a, it looks like one of them, them mafia sheets. You know, it's like it's like the mafia, like um. Am I looping a read right now? I was right at timestamp. Um, 
It's like one of them, you know, a.k.a. Lucky Luciano, a.k.a. The Big Luck, a.k.a. Mr. Shamrock, a.k.a. Four Leaf, you know? Uh, all right, I think it's coffee time. Pretty good though, right? We're making good progress. All right, we already start looking into the, the command, and then you want to start dispatching a uh, an AQL queue and seeing what happens? I think we kind of understand SDMA. What, was UMR useful? Yeah, UMR sick. UMR is the only reason we can do any of this. Without UMR, I was giving up. We got coffee. We're done with highball. No more highball today. Thank you, highball. We have highball energy, energy seltzer. They don't pay me, okay? I, 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 you know, I'll get reach outs occasionally for people who want to uh, sponsor this channel. And I say, you know, especially when they're from ad agencies, I say that I can only ever sponsor anything ironically. So if your client is okay with ironic sponsorship, then by all means, and the thing about ironic sponsorship is it's really the same thing as sponsorship. There's not that much of a difference. All right. So. Oh, we disabled subscriber only. We're gonna let them talk. Do they have anything to say? Sup, RxR Blin. I think we're on the first or second step. I don't know. We need a ding board sponsorship. Um, One down, uh, a lot more to go. So, what do these things do? Let's see if we can find stuff about them. Um, by the way, uh, we'll shill for perplexity AI. Uh, 
every time that I'm doing a search, like what's the best webcam for streaming or, um, you know, uh, how long does it take? Even something as simple, let, let me show you, let me show you something that, that really shows the brokenness of search engine, right? How long does ferry take, boat take to Catalina, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the difference between these two results. Um, this is a liberal arts education, by the way. So compare this to this, right? It only takes, it takes only one hour via a high speed ferry to get you to paradise. And you need, this is why like search engines need to be intention aware. Any human who reads a statement like that should question, uh, you know, the truthiness of it, right? It does seem to be largely true, but I just want to show you the difference between the tone of this and the tone of this. Uh, so how long does the boat take to get to Catalina is probably, again, they're not really going to lie about that. But the intention of this content is to shill you Catalina. The intention of this content is not. Um, so every search where there can ever be incentives that are aligned against yours, right? If what you're searching for is like some obscure error string in a, in a program, use Google, right? Um, but if what you're searching for is anything sort of normal, use perplexity. And what's so funny is this is what's going to destroy Google's business. Google's going to be left with a long tail of garbage. And every actual monetizable search is going to go to somebody who didn't sell out as hard as Google did. Um, you know, again, we're gonna do we're gonna do our daily search for French jokes. Oh, memes about groups or people might be disturbing or hurtful. Thank you, search engine. I understand that it is your moral duty in society to uh, you know to, uh, to 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 correct my behavior. Thank you, thank you, search engine. I I I, I appreciate that. That's right. Just that little nudge, 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 nudge. <laughs> Uh, if you can't fix their stuff who said I can't fix their stuff and we're not writing a driver we're a long way from writing a driver okay we have a lot of work to do before we write a driver I'm not even sure I really want to write a driver okay we know this ends with me writing a driver in a year but like you know come on let's pretend it doesn't right if, if we knew where we were going we wouldn't want to ever leave if we knew that the boat to Catalina was actually two hours you think I'm going to drive all the way to LA to get on that boat um, what is the run list controller in X7? Let's see. Oh, I spelled it wrong, but it probably doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, kind of useless. No, pretty useless. More useful. Uh, okay, let's. I should really be linking to these things in kernel. This is a driver core. Oh, here it's in documentation. GPU, AMD GPU, why is that not a, why is this different? Maybe this is new? Interesting. I don't know, do I already have that in my links? I already have that in my links, okay, good. Okay, um, Graphics memory controller, interrupt handler. Okay, that's what the IH is. Um, security processor, STMA. This is the graphics and compute engine. It's by far the largest block. It has tons of sub blocks. It also contains the. Oh, let's um, let's add a picture. Sucks. 
Let's see if it's big. Kind of big. I don't know. Um, can I get a big version of that? Big. To enhance compute unit pair. How do I get this slide deck? Oh, that looks better. Wait, how is that not the same as that? It's the same as that, never mind. Why does it suck so much? Can we find that from like a different site? Chips and cheese is a good site. How do I get this slide deck? I just want this slide deck. AMD RDNA 3 slide deck. No, no, I want the whole slide deck. Where, where can we best find this? God, you seem to spend money on marketing and not making a GPU decent. There is also a real, so there, there is this RDNA 3 PDF, which is quite good. Um, we're gonna include that in links. No, 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 I want the whole slide deck, not just one picture. I mean, that's probably the best version of the picture I've seen, but. Find that slide deck somewhere with the original source. What's a GPU open.com? Docs. GCN. What's GCN three? Oh, this is really old. Why is my computer moaning? This is old. So it's interesting that they include that there. No, this is the same one. This is the biggest you could find. Which one's this? Okay. So is this right? 416 bits. So that's, yeah, that's going to be the full cool. Let's add this in docs. picture in markdown markdown embed picture or we'll just use alt on it looks like that fine
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does this include all of them? So it's eight times six, 48 CUs. Is that right? Or is there more? Let's try to like look at the die and see if this is at all realistic. Well, no, not all groups are protected groups. You have to understand. Okay, compute unit's 96. So if that's a dual compute unit, then there's 16 on each of those. Yeah, that should be 96, right? 16, that's 48, and that's, yeah. So are those really chiplets? It's always nice to know like what the hardware actually like is, you know? Someone find these slides, but good. All right, so it has one main die. It's GCD. Graphics, compute, die. And then 6x memory chiplet cache die. All right, so this is where the L3 cache lives. We found slides, but not those. Ooh, let's check out this slides. We love slides. RDNA3, beyond the current gen. Compute shaders, quantum compute unit. Indirect. No, this doesn't look that interesting. RDNA wave 64. All right, still supports two waves. The thing talks about that a lot. Show your right compression. I don't know about that. Stay in infinity cache, bandwidth reduction. All this, this is like fancy. Even though they support gray tracing, meh, it's something. I don't know where all these features are. Good deck, not sure if it's modern. Let's see what we got. Well, it's 2019, so that's pretty old. That's really, I mean, this is OG RDNA. I want this, but for uh, for RDNA three. I want this slide deck for RDNA three. I'm sure it exists. Press release. Learn more about RDNA architecture here. PDF. Mesh shaders. Don't even know what a mesh shader is. I really know very little about graphics, unfortunately. No. Merchandising docs. Ooh. Huh. How have I never seen this before? We wrote our own simulator. Free answered simulator. Ooh. Ooh, 
this is interesting. Who's putting all this effort into these chips? RDNA is the official page in slides. This is original RDNA. Do they have RDNA 3? I mean, it's good to understand where things came from. Well, I'll add that. It's not hard to have more links. these websites it's let's find it maybe it's on GPU open oh let's just change this to RDNA 3 yellow uh, no learn more about RDNA 3 now it's this page again it's not on GPU open software what's GPU detective Works DirectX and Vulkan. What is this doing? Docs. I've read this before. Manuals. Just after our ISAs. Okay. Oh, this is cool that they have all the uh, tech docs at AMD. This one looks really old. Oh, apparently it was leaked. Oh, here, RDNA beyond the... No, 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 I just had that one. You're saying the RDNA 3 thing was leaked? You're saying this was leaked? There's also, there's an interesting, if we look in um, here, there's an interesting picture too. All right, and it says memory hierarchy, blah, 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 blah. Where's the picture of the, ah, here's this, yeah. So, memory yeah it's not all that interesting all right fine we'll just we'll just do make do with what slides we can find around uh oh this is old okay i mean i guess this is the best we can do then Let's see if there's anything good okay uh Chiplet shit. I mean, this is this is this right here is one of AMD's core advantages over Nvidia. Uh, Nvidia puts all their stuff on one die, which is very expensive. No, I'm not looking for the shader ISAs. 
I'm looking if these slides exist somewhere, but I'm starting to think they just don't. Mm, okay, pretty boring. More shilling for chiplets. The enhanced compute unit pair. This is kind of interesting. Create a doc called cu.md. Compute unit. By the way, does that work? I feel like it doesn't because of, yeah. I do this stock? It's not gonna work. Oh, that works, okay, fine. Um, Same picture, more showing about the chiplet. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, but this gets into the compute stuff. This is, okay, whatever, we, get, we can play with this at some other point. Happens uh, 900XTX has 96 compute units. Um, they're called something else in here, so they're called uh, 48 work group processors. That's what a WGP is. in parallel on streams of floating points, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This doc is actually one of the best docs I've seen for any GPU. Uh, it's not complete, unfortunately, but NVIDIA releases very little comparatively, and uh, Intel's documentation is 10,000 pages, but extremely pedantic. All right, I think we actually want to try to submit something to the compute and see what happens. Would TinyGrad help you? Ask not what TinyGrad can do for you, but what you can do for TinyGrad. All right, so where were we? I'm trying to understand what each one of these stupid pieces is. No, sorry, not stupid pieces. Lovely pieces of a wonderful GPU. Yes, that's right. Um, let me just link to that hot chips thing. Here we go. More info. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't care about CDNA. We can't afford those cards. Okay, I'd have to sell my Rolls Royce. And then I wouldn't have a Rolls Royce anymore, right? Like, I could sell my Rolls Royce and buy a couple of Instinct cards, but Instinct cards depreciate faster than Rolls Royces, so why would I do that? Okay, the microengine compute sounds very interesting. This is the microcontroller that controls the compute queues. It handles power management functionality. Oh, never mind. Okay, the runless controller is very boring. Oh, IB is indirect buffer. I see a command buffer for a particular engine. Rather than writing commands directly to the queue, you write the commands to a piece of memory and put a pointer in memory. Hardware, right, okay, fine. It's cool. Wait, I, I, this is this is this is a great document, and we should elevate it. Let's elevate it to here. Info on each piece. Colon. No, I don't care. I don't care about CDNA. Again, we can't afford those cards. Uh, all right. So, what do we want to dive into next? What piece would we like to dive into? The CP is not real. Okay, what micro engine and micro engine compute? I think it's micro engine compute that we care about. What's the prefetch parser? for this guy though. How old is Southern Island? Oh, really old. This might be graphic stuff. I'm just trying to like rule this one out. I mean, it's just the micro engine. Wow, this is really old. Optimize drivers, just expose access to the hardware. And we have access to the hardware, what do you mean? All right, you guys, I, I know something very fun we can do. What were those two things in my temp folder? U code data. Why are they incrementing like that? That's not what I ex would have expected. Do they loop at some point? I want even faster. The watch doesn't support that. Is there a watch built into UMR? Also a very interesting. So UMR also has this very interesting. Um, what? Oh, that used to do more things. I don't know what happened? Oh yeah, here we go. Wait. Oh no! It's going down. 
We're yelling timber. <laughs> we just gotta, we just gotta laugh, boys. We just gotta laugh. All right, let's try GPU recover. Come back to me, GPU. Come back to me. No, it's over. Hmm? Recover again. No. It's going down. All right, come on. I know it's copyrighted, but I think I think it's appropriate. Uh, that wasn't copyrighted. That was so short, it wasn't copyrighted. Oh, we're, we're really, we're really killed that. And this song is all as the PFP docs. <laughs> as we move. Um... No, I'm not gonna shower yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for the reboot. I wanna look at those U-code addresses. Um... Do so, you guys want to do something real fun? Do you want to reverse engineer the instruction set for the firmware? This is funny, so many threads. All right, well, good, I think. Look, it's appropriate for a GPU to crash while we're abusing it like we've been abusing it. Is the computer gonna come back or are we gonna have to reboot it? Oh. Really disappointed. Oh. At first it was fine, but after about one week or so, I kept getting... Oh, I mean, this is just overheating. That doesn't even seem to be the driver. It just seems like the driver. <laughs> I wonder if I can power cycle the GPU while plugged in. Where did this guy find all these good docs on this stuff too? Chips and Cheese is a great website. Um, you know, it's so interesting also to uh, to see like, you know, Adreno is an acronym of Radeon, R-A-D-E-O-N. Uh, Radi Adreno is what's used in Qualcomm. Um, so we have a good bit of experience with that. All right, we got a hard reboot the computer. Hard reboot. Yeah, I looked here, nothing great. 
Wait, what? I mean, it's really old, but... Why don't, you, why don't they release this for a AMD? Hey, hey, you know how to release register docs. Why don't you release this for the new one? We can get it for Sea Islands 3D. I'm sure I bet all the people did that network for NVIDIA. Not like they didn't look. Guys, did I try to help them or what? And I don't know, you know, people think that I have some weird ulterior motive. I really don't, as far as I can tell. Like, you know, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to always know what your own motivations are, how much is my ego tied up in things. I mean, yeah, there's definitely like components of that. But, you know, I really think when I lay down in bed at night and I ask why I care about this stuff, well, it's because, you know, I want the future to be uh, distributed. I'm not worried about... I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's ironic that a lot of these uh, activists are calling for, you know, uh, things, to be, things to be fair, for opportunity to be well distributed, right? I, uh, that's all I really want for the future. As long as in the future, like, everyone kind of has a fair shot, I'll be fine, right? And everyone who feels that way is fine. It's the people who don't feel like if things are actually distributed fairly, like, actually, like, you know, equal opportunity, then it's bad. You know, that's, that's what I worry about, right? Um, right? And this isn't, this isn't always, this is, this is the, this is the phony executive afraid of losing power, right? This is the, the phony blue blood who's, you know, it's the emperor who's, who's scared of being uh, <laughs> called out for being naked. Um, what arch is the firmware? Uh, so we can, you know, run. I'm beautiful at this. This is going to use the GPU all over the place. The thing I wanted to show you is pseudo UMR top. We should give errors. Okay, um, let's go to something a little fancy. We're gonna see one over here. Download that. Okay, um, but yeah, this shows all the. This is interesting. Uh, all high precision, high frequency, right? Like, what are all these things? GRBN. Properly tracking the RAM. these things. Now here's another whole set of acronyms we gotta understand. And clean that up hopefully. Uh, wide. Oh, oh we didn't crash.
What are all these acronyms? Where do they come from? Did a shit job. <laughs> Tried using an LLM. LLM, you had one job. You literally had one job and you couldn't do it. LLM's fired. You cannot let a computer make decisions because a computer cannot be held responsible. IBM. What are all these things? Does anyone know? Oh, if I just save, oh, that's nice. Oh no, that's almost nicer. I have a nicer procedure for doing that now. Let's spin up. GRBM, let's start there. What's GRBM? Hmm, Graphics Register Backbone Manager. Is that real? Texture Addressing. Okay, we're using the CP, we're using the SPY, we're using the RLC, we're using the CPC, we're using the CPF. We're only using 32% of the IN, 44% uh, of the FA, and uh, oh, AL, oh, we're using 70% of AL. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look very interesting, that doesn't look very interesting, we don't care about that. Okay, cool. Um, let's go back to what I was doing here and let's grab U code. Uh, maybe I U code, yeah. Let's try this guy here. Okay. Um U code address, U code data. I feel like this is the firmware. But like, why are these things so, this can't be the address. How do I like, get that? Dump 
like the code. Where's ME1? Okay, let me see ME1. Oh. That's interesting. Wait, let's just look. We know where the code for the prepass processor is. So let's take a look at that. Um, lib firmware and GPU. Yes. So let's just copy that. Question. Is at two F two? Do we have that shit? F O A B O O A B. Flipping the idea in this. No, that's not useful. Microcode address, microcode data. Those U code addresses are just zero the whole time. This just doesn't look like. That doesn't look like an instruction pointer. There is some stuff that looks more like instruction pointers in UMR. Uh, here, print CPC register data. Okay, what's the CPC? Oh, instr pointer. Oh, that's better. Cool. I don't know what U code is, but what if I just do instr? What's the CPC? say about this? Print CPC register data. Okay, what's the CPC? What's this? No, these are, these are for uh, FPGAs and stuff, I think. Yeah, I'll just go. Yeah, we can look at the source for top, sure. Um, maybe there's stuff in here that talks more about CPC. No, but what is the CPC? Oh, well, that one can't find it. Do we have CPC in the in the ASIC? I mean, where where which which block is it even in? I assume it's GFX, but I might be wrong. Okay, it's part of GFX. Interesting. Is there nothing called Inster? Oh no, here we go. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Now we're talking. We want to search for Inster pointer. Oh. Uh, where's our firmware stuff? What arch is the firmware? Okay. Let's just search for Inster pointer. We don't need the eye. Okay, so you see now everything's idle. Oh, and they're all part of the CP. Okay, 
Maybe we should make a new docs page for the CP. So I'll note that all the things are in, yeah. Uh, so let's watch these things light up when I do, go faster than that. No. Give it a second to warm up. All right, I just saw the mech move. All right, so the mech is doing something. Oh, it looks like only the mech is doing anything interesting. So the mech is the interesting thing here. Um, okay, what's notable is this is Pro you probably have to multiply this by four. And I think there's more info if I get rid of pointer. Why does the MES not have one? Oh yeah, the MES does have one. The MES just isn't doing anything. Um, let's go to my, H my other example. or something. Watch the mess pointer and see if it changes at all. Big lag, bro. SMU, I'm not done with your previous command. Boring. Is it going to train? Do we break it? Figure out which uh, it's all over the place. And what's so interesting about that is we can look at the mech firmware here. And we can get a good idea of what these things are actually doing. What are these GFX things? All the AMD ASIC instructions? Oh yeah, I mean, we know all that, that's not a big deal. Oh, wait, do I have to add another AKA? That's a good point. We frequently refer to it as that. Pretty sure it actually is Plum Bonito.
running. So these GPs are interesting. Which of them also have GPs? Let's say GP zero. I'm just messing that thing. Oh, the mech has it too. Thank you for gifting more subs. Give me one header dump. Okay, so there's U code adder and U code data too. Look, the instruction pointer changes occasionally. RS64. Those don't change. What is RS64? RS64 might be the name of the processor. Interesting. Here's more stuff about it. Wait, this is in Xilinx. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look in the. Uh, if that's really there. Then let's just take a look in the kernel. Types for load command. Well, that stuff's kind of interesting too. There's actually a lot more firmware types than what we saw. That's another. That's another mystery to dive into. Uh, we probably want to put that. Yeah, let's take a look in D message. We're gonna have to reload in order to get that. Let's reload. Sorry about the tiny, tiny font. It's even tinier than I would like, but you know we can't have everything. See, that's just like a meaningless thing I say. It doesn't mean anything. What I hope to do is teach you all that slogans are really stupid. And like diversity is our strength, guys. I think that's the theme. That's the theme of this. That's the theme of the stream. That diversity is our strength, right? And you know what? I don't even mean that ironically, right? Like if we didn't have diversity in the world, everyone would be the professional managerial class and it would suck balls. The good news is we have diversity. About 20 linked PDFs here. Yeah, we're going to remove LLVM. Of course we are. Yeah, but these are just... No, these aren't interesting. What's on this form? No, this is just some guy trying to make it work on his computer. Oh no, I think it might not have worked. We'll try again, but I think we might have to reboot. Oh no, it might be okay. We might just have to enable debugging. No. We're stuck in this, I'm not done with your previous command garbage. Oh, okay, it did eventually do that, that's good. Um, I think it's broken. But I do wanna copy and paste these and put them down here because they're useful. And we can look and see each one of these types I'll show you what they correspond to. Um, I'll put this all the way at the bottom. So you 
see like if we're looking here at like this is 88 through 97 we can look down here at 88 through 97 and this is loading all of these rs64 i think that's the core like stacks and stuff? I don't know. Um, let's start the computer reboot. I don't know if I... Unfortunately, I have the docs actually on the computer, which kind of sucks. Like, I don't know why I did that. I totally could have just done these docs on my Mac and not through SSH. Um, yeah, but you can see it load all the firmwares, which is kind of interesting. Like it'd be interesting to see exactly which parts of the file or which of these, if someone wants to go through and like do that project. RS64 is mentioned here. Yeah, but does it say what it is? Uh, fail overflow. I don't know why I do that link, Radeon, because it wasn't right. I'm just because it's not exactly right. It probably doesn't mean that it's not right entirely. Um, F32. But it wasn't this. We tried this. Support to load RS64 CP firmware front door load. Yeah, this still doesn't tell us. I Uh, let's look at the kernel. No, not that. And that's now broken. So let's close that. Let's look at the kernel here. Um, okay, so look, yeah, it used to be called F32 back on GFX9. They maybe still have one F32? I don't know about that, or that's just a legacy name. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if this works, but only for SDMA. We don't know if they're all the same firmware. Let's get to the bottom of what CP64 is. Uh, we want to do the site. Let's do the Linux mailing list. Um, Search for CP64 in here. Send that anyway, great. No, they don't want to tell you about CP64. They're hiding it. Maybe Bing wants to tell me about it. No. Very little stuff. CP64? Sorry, what am I doing? RS64. I don't know how I got off to CP64. IBM RS64? Where do you see IBM RS64? Interesting. I mean, it's like possible. It's unlikely, but the, the firmware that I really want to look at is that so I have that thing in the docs called firmware info. Um, why did I write this in? the mech firmware. This is the mech firmware. Okay, it's 
called view code. Google search like that. Does, this, does it yield anything? Support front door load. Broke the GPU. We just have to reboot. Okay, we're gonna reboot. It's shower time. Uh, I'm gonna commit this. I'm gonna shower. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes. If anybody can find out any information on RS32, uh, you would be much uh, would be much appreciated. Oh, I just tried to push tiny graph. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I tried. Whatever. Yo, it's crazy. You can still hear me. We'll just leave it as 10 minutes, which I know is vague and terrible but we'll just leave it in 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, see you in a minute.
Wow, we, we got some autoplay. I don't know where this came from. Wait, I didn't reboot the computer? Did I have to reboot the computer? Do I have to reboot the computer or not? Should you buy the card? No. I would not recommend buying this GPU. I mean, look, we'll see how well this project works out, right? I forgot to reboot the computer when I took a shower. All right, I didn't turn it off enough. I don't know how it works. Whatever. Um, where were we? RS34. The AMD, no, honestly, everything, the first email to me, they included something about how they would prefer if I didn't disparage AMD, and uh, I should have just t I should have realized at that point that they were fucked. Like I should have realized at that point if their response to like look I'm not disparaging them I'm not calling them bad people I'm talking about my experience with their GPU which has been dog shit. Alright guys, should put the Balenciaga hoodie on? It's Balenciaga hoodie time, what do y'all think? Oh yeah, 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 feeling rich today, boys. Feeling rich today. Um, no, I, I should have just, I should have just been like, wow, these people are fucked. Like, they're trying to PR manage instead of manage their GPU, right? Like that, that's what needs to fundamentally change. If you're trying to not change yourself, but instead change how people think about you, like that's a serious problem. Okay, where were we? Um, you know, and it does seem pretty endemic in AMD too, like, well, they're like a lot of these big companies. Like they're, they're, they don't, they don't get. Like brand is more irrelevant than ever. Um, with with like, it, it used to be someone would walk into you know the Wiz and purchase a television, and it'd be like Sony. Wow, they built up a good brand over many years. Today, people search for best TV site colon Reddit. <laughs> right? Um, or they search, or they go on Amazon and look at reviews, right? And people are pretty good, too, at telling when, you know, like, the modern consumer is so much more savvy than the consumer of the past. Um, the amount of information that's available. And again, there's a war going on. There's always people trying to, uh, trying to keep that information from you, right? There's always people trying to, like, like they want to manipulate but on the whole, things are less manipulated now than ever before. Um, you know, there's, 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 there's lost battles and won battles in this war. But on the whole, stuff is improving and people's ability to judge stuff is improving as well. So the fact that a company like AMD views this as a PR problem and not a GPU problem uh, really, really says something. Right? It really says that they have the wrong kind of, it's just the wrong way of thinking about the problem. Uh, all right, so you guys know contractually I'm not allowed to show uh, Claude on stream. Uh, it's against my contract. What is the RS34 processor in AMD GPU? I'm asking Claude. 
The RS64 processor is not a specific component in AMD GPUs. It doesn't know. If they improve drivers, the PR will improve exactly. All right, and, and again, I, I can't believe, I, I just, I just, I don't want to like, I don't want to go into Twitter. Again, the, the guy who is responding to me on Twitter is actually very, very nice. Um, I, I think he, we're, we're actually, I think, very much on the same side. Um, he, you know, but th there is no, there's no 75, 7900 XTX in CI. And that tells you everything you need to know about how much they care about the stability of their hardware, which is just like, like every time something's pushed to the driver, that should be recompiled and stress tested on their GPUs. This is the only way to manage bugs. TinyGrad has CI, OpenPilot has CI. OpenPilot has super sophisticated CI. Hardware in the loop, hardware out of the loop. And that's how the, you know, the common devices are very stable, way more stable than AMD GPUs on a much lower budget too. Um, you know, if, if Kama was in charge of stability of the AMD GPU, our failure rate of, of Kama devices is in the tens of thousands of hours. Uh, and, and that does not just mean hardware failure. That literally means like, like red alert immediate disengagement failure. Um, to the point that most Kama failures now are not caused by the Kama device or any of the Kama software, but are caused by external things. So we had a bug with SDSUs recently, which is an external thing that people are buying from somebody else. We found a bug in the Volkswagen Atlas firmware. Um, that like Kama is becoming more reliable than, than car companies uh, because we're using modern methodologies in order to get uh, reliability. And, like the, the methodologies for reliability really are like, like CI and fuzz testing. Are, are these incredibly powerful methodologies. And if you have your stuff in CI and you have aggressive fuzz testing with good coverage, your shit will be rock solid. Um, CP RS34 enable. Uh, the flip side of that is if you don't do that stuff, you know, your things will be flaky and they'll be flaky forever. Init microcode. Check firmware header version to see if we want to enable. That's so weird. It seems like it can be enabled or disabled. Based on the firmware. Oh, no, no, no. That makes sense. <clears throat> I see. So if it has the new firmware, then we I'm always angry. Me? Like I'm angry. So I'm not angry. I'm really angry right now. I don't know if this is actually it. All right, do we want? Let's just start. To see what non subscribers have to say. Do they know things? The answer is no. I 
I mentioned says modes. Where is that? Okay, GFX 9 is old. It may be the first one that introduced RS64, I thought, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, okay, that's cool. PFPU code version being greater than 300. Non subs do know some things. Um, I mean, I'm going to guess that, yeah, this is just the name of the new processor. Wait, what's this program counter? Both program counter start. Search for RS64 enable. Yeah, I mean, again, this stuff's not useful. Like we have to find, yeah, no, I, I found this. Um, we have to find documentation for the processor. And there's a chance there just isn't any, and like that's fine. But let's do from info.py. Okay, let's open this rb read chat from hex dump import hex dump blah 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 blah. Another great hit Kesha song. Poor Kesha. So which of these are clearly? guess that this is where the code starts. It's probably my mother talking about Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah, I'm using the flip. We got the flip, boys. The full. We got the full. The full. Happy Easter to everybody, you know? They should just should. I wish, like, this is the kind of stuff that happened in church. Happy Easter. Also, equally important. No, we won't go there. Uh, so it, I mean, it's clearly code there. Instruction pointer is this, but I'm going to guess that has to be, because of the way that it's weird and ends like that, that has to be times four. And also, we don't know if it exactly starts, and I don't think it actually uploads the header and stuff, so we don't actually know. Um, 8C, like, I don't know, like, that might be that instruction. We don't really know. Is there any more info? There's all this U code stuff, too, but it's, it's weird that, like, like, U code adder, U code data is not what you think it is. No, I don't think it's Renesis. Why do you think it's this? No, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, 
notable that the ME instruction pointer is and the PFP instruction pointer are both C00. Almost looks like they're not running. It's all 1200. What's C00 times uh, 3000. Oh, wait, that's 3200. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's probably that. Yeah, okay, okay. So probably what we want to do is get rid of the first hex 200. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, we get rid of the first hex 200. First hex 200 is headers. Um, and then we hex dump uh, code starts at okay, let's say headers code equals dat colon 200, dat 200 colon. Um, code starts at hex 3000. Okay, so now if we like hex dump code to like 4000. Uh, I'm going to write a better hex dump in a minute. So I'm not going to be happy with how this one looks. Yeah, okay. Let's just. Um... So there's your code at 3000, right? So, so those things are just not running. Those two are not running, they're delayed at 3,000. But it makes sense, because you have to multiply that, okay. So if we want to get the, oh, it's notable that those also aren't RS64. Which raises a lot of questions, but whatever. Um, What's the PFP again? You have notes on this? Prefetch parser. Okay, I don't think we, maybe we don't use that. Maybe that's only if you're running graphic stuff. don't think it's running. It's actually probably halted. Um, we can check that. Uh, there's ways to dump here. List of regs with bits. So let's look at, what is it probably? Halt. Remember when I halted the MES last time? Oh, F32 control. Interesting that the SDMA is F32. But there's no insta there. Only that. And RLC maybe? It's the SDMA bin. I, again, it's possible that these don't all have the same architecture. Yeah, this one looks different. Let's try that fail overflow tool on that one. The thing that disassembles F32. Uh, do I have any build radio tools? No. Let's try this. on the SDMA. F32 this SDMA.
Whoa, this is totally right. This looks very plausible. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. So this is F32 and you can see, oh, you know what we could probably do? Let's look at that header. Uh, let's go into this and let's look at the header. Yeah, let's go. Uh, GCC, main.c, and then a.out. We want to look at PFP and SDMA. Let's look at the header and check to see what that version is and see if it's uh, F32 or, okay, I don't know if this Ucode version is what matters. But there's clearly that RS uh, and I'm not sure it's that but RS 64 was the thing that decides if it's RS 64 RS 64 enable yeah I think that's based on oh where is that Interesting. It's almost like they can run both. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so we check the firmware header. Um, oh, that's in PFP firmware. PFP, where's that here? Common firmware header? Header version, IP version. Header major, header minor. Okay, let's just try that. Do I print that in that C file? I don't. Header version major. Uh, header version minor. All right, let's see. No, they're both two. This stuff doesn't look right. See how that doesn't look like code? But if we dump the SDMA one, it does. Look at that, it looks like code. It also probably starts at a different place, but Let's, let's compare these two. Let's put them side by side. Yeah, like it like looks different. Cool. Ucode array offset bytes. So maybe that's like both at the same level. I don't know.
see the what's the loading here? Okay, here. So where is, is SDMA here? No, the SDMA is still at 32. I mean, we can tell from the registers. Oh, the RLC might also be F32. Let's just take a look at RLC. Ah, this one looks like F32 as well. Yeah, look at look at how this is Look, look at this, look at the difference. Look at how this looks like code. Okay, so that's cool. So the RLC is also F32. Good to know. Um, my dogs. Fortunately, those two aren't really used. Like where's the, how come I don't see SDMA control counter, U code address, U code data, U code checksum. So I don't see anything that looks like, what's in F32 control? Okay, halt, enable, right pointer pull. Well, that's, this is very cool. We should actually be able to get the, uh, R64, okay, we know whatever R64 is, it has a bunch of GPs. Um, There's nothing in there right now. Internally seems to be called the I search for Radeon F32 processor, does this not come up? Do you think they reverse engineered this or do you think they found docs somewhere? Is I think the MES. If, if do you think they're actually going to open source the MES, who thinks they're actually going to open source the MES? They promised me they were going to. Is the MES RS sixty four too? Uh, you found some XML files on some file host. Um, so our rule with leaks is, uh, you know, I don't want to look at them if they're at all sketchy, but if there's like an XML file somewhere, I mean, I don't know, is that sketchy? 
like how, how, how did it come to be about right did amd there's, there's a difference between a leak where like some employees stole it if some employees stole it or some hacking group stole it we absolutely don't want to touch it if amd accidentally published something well, they accidentally published it right a leak is largely public domain yeah again it depends how the leak came to be about yeah if they accidentally published it oops whatever then But we didn't mean to make that public. Well, uh... Oh, yeah, I should watch. I should watch their uh, their CCC talk. I'm not gonna be able to watch it on stream, but oh, oh, they Googled and found some XML files. Oh, I see. They talk about this in their in their talk. I got you. Um. So yeah, we're gonna look at the MES and see which type it is. It's really easy to tell. Okay, the MES is the CP. Uh, although it starts seems to start at a different place. Oh look, MES instruction pointer. Wouldn't that wouldn't that used to be somewhere else? Okay, so the MES starts at uh, MES starts at hex five thousand. Uh, MEC starts at hex three thousand. Yeah, see that. Okay, um, yeah, I, I mean, look, it's, it's questionable how much we could even uh, do if we, if we get this stuff. We're a long way from really needing to reverse engineer. Um, but it's good to know that it's possible. So this is RS64, am I saying that right? Uh, we know the MES is RS64 also. AMD GPU crashes since this week. Just since this week. Oh, you're seeing a, see if you can find that XML file. I'd be interested in that. Again, as long as it's the, depends on the type of leak. If it was stolen, we don't want it. But if it was uh, published as part of a package, absolutely fair game. What is PAL? User mode 3D graphics driver. The same ops. <coughs> oh, about how they found the XML, sorry. Contains the dump of the Bonaire GPU register documentation, but it's like broken XML and it's incomplete. It stops at one point. But like, look at what's what's this doing here? Um, and why, like, what, what is this? Where did this come from, right? So let's dig a little deeper. Okay, Google, what do you know about this website? Uh, well, there's some random things like what the hell no.txt and what the hell yes.txt and uh, some Excel files. 
Oh, sorry, Excel, like uh, XML style sheets. Um, wow, that's when the internet, that's when search still works. Hmm, I wonder what that is. And it looks like it's a grammar, you know, uh, BNF uh, notation description for a, uh, a, a syntax of some kind of register documentation file. Hmm, it's, is this, like, this looks like an AMD internal format, but it's on this website. Okay, so we have these two URLs slash pragmatic slash bonair.xml and slash rai slash rai.grammar.4.txt. Let's try something. How about maybe pragmatic slash bonair.rai? Nah, it's a 404. Okay, pragmatic slash rai slash bonair.rai. Ah, bingo. Whoa. Very cool. Um, again, yeah, the internet's under attack. Right, like you remember when Google used to work? Remember seven years ago when Google actually worked? Um, you know, I mean, look, this may not be worth spending that much more time on. We don't gain that much. Yeah, remember when Google, like, I mean, the world's been seriously under attack since 2014. Um, in 2014, I think that a lot of these people started figuring out, I mean, it really, it really ramped up and got bad, like, maybe COVID was the culmination of it. A lot of these people started finding out, like, it's ironic that you hear conservatives gave up on, on liberalism when I think it was the complete other way around. I think that the powers that be realize that, look, if this open information thing continues, uh, it's not going to go well for us. And uh, yeah. But again, ironically, kind of by doing this, I wouldn't care. I didn't start caring about politics at all until 2014, right? You know, you, you hear the saying, you may not be interested in politics, but politics are interested in you. And again, when something's interested in me, you have to put some effort into, uh, you know, defending against this. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's really, it's really, had these people mostly continued on their existing paths, yeah, they might have lost power, but I think it's going to be a lot slower than what's going to happen. I don't know. I think a lot of people have kind of caught on. I hope a lot of people have kind of caught on. And look, it's going to take people 10 years to kind of catch up to the stuff I figured out, but there's no way it stands. What? In 10 years, are we still going to have a, a, a puppet show? Like, are we, are we still going to have, are we still going to have a puppet government? All right. Are we still going to have a fake, like, I don't think so. I think it's, um, I, I think that the, that movie Knives Out is a great example of really how things can just be so transparently in front of you and you don't see what's going on. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not indulging in conspiracy theories. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Um, this is a question about what, what groups are going to lose power. Uh, and this has happened throughout history, right? There's, there's not going to be... Uh, if you want to bet any amount of money that we do not have 5 million people alive in 2030, I, I'll bet any amount of money on that, right? Mostly because if that's true, money's worthless, but... It's not, there, there's not that coordinated of a group doing this, right? It's, it's, it's a class. It's, it's, a, it's a class interest that, that made Google the way it is. I just, it's so sad to see, just look at this. Right? That's what Google is today. That same try Google search console. 
Uh, you have private AMD slide decks. Again, how did you get them? We do not want anything stolen. What format are the files in UMR in? Also not really sure where be a whole uh, ASIC, but it's an IP, oh, dot red, I see. Yeah, these look like some kind of exports and not a real. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's in 2014, 2016, they changed their mind on free speech. They, they, whenever you hear, by the way, I hope everyone understands this. There's no such thing as hate speech, right? Like, like th this doesn't exist. It's, it's a completely made up concept trying to erode free speech, right? Free speech is free speech. Um, I bet you that's different. I bet you that may be different today among political groups, but um, there's a very strong correlation between IQ and belief in free speech absolutism. Uh, so, you know, the higher your IQ, the more you believe in free speech absolutism. And there's, there's uh, nothing I, I believe in more strongly than that. Um, and people who oppose free speech absolutism have something to hide. Now, again, free speech absolutism does not cover uh, the Brandenburg test is really pretty perfect. Um, you know, free speech stops at imminent harm. But yeah, uh, you know, anyone who's turned against this, I mean, it's not, I'll tell you what happens, right? You, you never win. These people never win. They, they just, they can destroy a society. It is totally possible that these people do end up destroying America, right? But they end up destroying America. Like, they don't have anything. They destroy it. Okay, it's over, right? The, the next thing that rises, you know, pretty much um, believes in, uh, in free speech. You, you can keep... You can keep an empire together based on tyranny for, for, you know, a good amount of time. But if you want to make something that really lasts forever. Free speech absolutism. Marketplace of ideas. It's all real, despite what both the left and right say. Now, we need better tools. We need better tools to make the marketplace of ideas actually work. But I did read a, or I read a very white pilling tweet, and it's, you know, the intelligence agencies are using the same GPT-4 you are. Uh, soon, in the next five or ten years, we are going to, the, the intelligent among the people on the other side understand what a serious threat LLMs represent. Um, I'm not, I'm not telling them anything they don't know. Uh, what LLMs are going to let people do in the next five, 10 years is scan through massive databases and 
I mean, creepy things. You guys are going to be able to go through the entire archive of every one of the George Hodds videos and, you know, pull things out that I've said. Pull out what are the worst contradictions I've said through videos, and you can edit those things together, and they're real clips. Um, but they're also going to allow us to go through all of the stuff dumped on WikiLeaks. It's going to let us go through everything that's released by everybody and put it all together in a coherent way better than any intelligence agencies. LLMs are a democratized intelligence agency. The same power that the intelligence agency has is available to every man, woman, and child. And that's why these things represent a threat. How good is that? How good is that, right? We don't, we're not putting the genie back in the bottle. Privacy is never coming back. I heard a story yesterday about, uh, you know, they track some drone pilot who was standing in a field piloting a drone. So they went to the mobile uh, you know, data aggregation for advertising and said, who was here on this day? And of course they have data from that. One of the you know, 30 apps on their phone pings the location to some ad analytics thing. And you can figure out not just, oh, here's where the person was on this day, but here's where the person was on all of these days, including this address a whole lot. You know, do a title search on the house, download a land glide, um, and you can, you can uh, Find out. So, so, so privacy is never coming back. We need to get over that. But they're not going to have privacy either. Not having a smartphone doesn't help you. Uh, enough people have smartphones and cameras that it's, that it's all on the internet. You can't fight against this. All we can do is make sure... The, the tyranny world is when you don't have privacy and they do. If we can take privacy away from everyone, sounds pretty good. <coughs> All right. Mm, we're not going to find Rye files. We're not going to find RS. These are RS34. These are F32. Okay, what is the microengine compute actually doing? Let's focus on that. Let's focus on what some of these acronyms mean. CPF, CPC, RLC. Um, let's read UMR and see where those things are coming from. These might be like normal things that people who do graphics with these things understand. Looks like it's GRBN, not like crazy. Graphics register backbone manager. Mech is probably the wave scheduler. I think that's true. Um, They're not going to become, if they, they may become illegal for the general public in some countries, but they won't in all countries. It, you can't stop this. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, it would not surprise me if the CIA took over OpenAI, right? George, that's a conspiracy theory. You can't say it. No, they actually did it, right? Like, look at the new board. It's, the CIA took it over. It's, don't worry about it that much, right? Um, I think what you want to do is you want to make sure that the... Uh, that everyone who's capable of actually doing this stuff, you know, I, I'm very happy, uh, you know, Carpathia left. I, I think that's the right move. I, I think that, like, I mean, um, yeah. I, I, you know, we'll check out Carpathia's new talk. Uh, he's, he's, he's saying a lot of stuff about decentralizing, uh, you know, uh, compute and stuff. He's a lot more, he's a lot more diplomatic than I am, too. Um, yeah, I, I think that what you want is just, just to see a quick brain drain from OpenAI. Like, let's not pull another Google, right? Claude is already better than G Claude Opus is better than GPT-4. Um, I think Anthropic is owned by a different group of people, but not quite the CIA. Look, they're not that much better. Um, 
know, the best ones are, uh, you know, I think, I think Mark Zuckerberg's had it with this shit. I think that uh, it was kind of a mistake for a lot of the media to turn on Mark Zuckerberg the way they did. Right? Mark Zuckerberg hates the media now. Right? And I think, I think he's, he's hopefully, you know, look, he's his own guy who knows what he really believes. But I, I think hopefully he's going further to realize that it's not just the media, right? It's this entire apparatus um, that you have to oppose, right? It's not the media. It's, it's the media, uh, the universities, uh, and the uh, government. It's all the same. Uh, RS64 Infiniband? I doubt it. Where do you even see RS64 here? No, that's not that. Focus up. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Focus up. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff is. It might not be that important. What is the micro engine compute doing? I think this thing is super important, so we'll give it its own page. I saw some docs about this once. Uh, this is dispatching uh, two waves. So let's come back to what the GPU actually looks like. So we have these dual compute units and the microengine compute is probably deciding how to uh, actually do these things. I don't know if there's actually six of them like this. But that does like kind of make sense. Let's just take a look through all the registers quickly and see what might be interesting. Okay, so there are CBs. I don't know what those are. There are CPs. This is dispatching the waves. Let's look up everything we can about the micro engine compute. Let's talk about it in here. Uh, all right, on topic, guys, on topic. This is the microcontroller that controls the compute queues. I'll just leave it at that. Enables the compute queues. Okay, not all that interesting. Um, let's see, is there stuff in the driver about? A 
a file called MEC? Or maybe it's just in GFX. Mac int control? No, I don't know about that. Okay, here. So we have pipes. Wait, so what, what is that thing dumping? Um, there's that other thing that can dump besides SDMA. CPC. Here we go. So I think this is the stuff. Wait till it's really running again and dump it again. All right, cool. <coughs> Does UMR talk anything more about CPC and what it actually is? Print the CPC register data. UMR print CPC. Okay, oh, CPC is down there. Is that the same CPC? Is that one of them that's being used? Uh, yeah, CPC is being used. Okay, cool. Um, do not find CPC registers on ASIC. Not interesting, not interesting. This is probably the actual compute queues. No, but that's not what these things are. We have P key, MQD, AQL control. Look, see, these have AQL control on. My guess would be these are the two pipes that are actually uh, talking. We also have these VMIDs. What is VMID 9? Can we figure that out? Because we also have a similar dump from the SDMA. Let's uh, let's go do that. Let's, we can probably just jump. So those are RLCs. Uh, let's put this in MES, even though it's really SDMA. And the MES seems kind of less important. It doesn't seem like it really does that much. No wonder they agreed to open source it, right? What I really want to see is the, the MEC. The MEC is the interesting thing that's doing this compute or the SDMA firmware. Um, now, we know from the readme here that the MEC is RS64. But SDMA is F32, so we could probably look into SDMA if we wanted to, which is cool. Um, what's this? Is this a doc about the XML, MEC? Like, uh, XML slash. Okay. Ah, here we go, cool. This is interesting. It's two different Command processors, uh, micro engine, aka okay, micro engine computer. Some chips have two mechs, other parts only have one. The mech block has four independent threads referred to as pipes in engineering. Oh. I did see some stuff about this. Actually, I think I saw this here. Maybe these are the different pipes. Okay, here we go. So these are the pipes. Are we actually loading them? Yes, we are, okay. So this is interesting. So there's four threads. Um, good, good, good. Thank you for that link. Okay, the MEC block has four independent threads referred to as Pipes and engineering, one Mac equals four ACES. 
two max equals eight aces. Each pipe can manage up to eight command queues, or one of the pipes can run hardware scheduler microcode, which assigns virtual shit. Okay, the GPU schedule on AMD GPU is similar but different, and it's software that exposes the per process queues, and then copies the packets from per process queues to the ME hardware queue in order to actually execute the work. Um, support things like tight C group? What, what is this from? There's a presentation for hot from hot chips. Great, of course it's gone. It actually just looks like they... Picture. Is there anything useful in that picture? No, none of these things seem divisible. Okay. There's four independent threads, which is interesting. So if I search for instructure, I just got mech one and mech two. Which which mech pointer was varying that I was looking at? Remember that some mech pointer was there. And I had this like docs about like the mech's the only one that changes. Is in CP? Only mech, oh, RS64 instruction pointer. Okay, so this one changes. But I don't understand because this four threads, and I thought the threads would each have their own. So it sure looks like, yeah, you just admit it on all of them, and it's just, uh, it's a multi -thread. Okay, the mech block is four independent threads. Part of it is pipes and engineering and aces and marketing. Oh, I mean, there is also that, um, that, uh, of course, Google's not going to find this. There is also that there was a little bit of information given out in the, uh, in that change log that talked about the out of order, in order thing. The upstream expose a small number of compute queues via mech today, back in 2000, back seven years ago. But yeah, it looks like the interesting stuff is here in pipe zero. Um, <coughs> oh, here we go. Pipe zero. Okay, and these all have different instruction pointers. How does that even work? Where are those instruction pointers, and how come I didn't see them? Oh, why did it get slow? it for the GPU. It was good while it lasted. I think even UMR isn't working now. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, junk. Okay. 
How is this getting? CPC is, looks like the interesting thing. So how is this getting CPC? These are all CP things. So even though it says CPC, uh, is it still running or did the GPU break? Oh, it might still be running. My theory is probably just that it uh, got slow because the, we still have a VM99, that's good. Why is it printing registers? Oh, just CPC. I see. It's doing both. Um, it's running really slow because the SMU broke and the SMU does the power. Uh, I wonder if we can actually see the power here. No, see it all broke. Okay. It looks like, yeah, some race condition hit the SMU. The SMU is broken. Um, that's what the thing was querying, and that's why everything's going very slow now, but the fan's still running very fast. Okay, cool. Interesting. So it's, it's this one jumping around. Oh, oh, you see what says ASM here? Oh, that's probably the, uh, that's the real pointer. That, that's just this times, uh, let's just control C it and check. But I think that that's just that times four. Yes, okay, good. So that's the ASM. So that's probably an offset into the MEC. Great, so we, we have all that stuff figured out. That's all pretty good. Uh, it seems like those ones don't really change because it's only using this one. I see, it's like printing that afterward. Oh, it prints that afterward. Okay, so this, this down here applies to this up here. So you can see that the ME is going around. We have Q2. I don't know what Q3 is. It's all actually in Q2. I think that that thing might actually be creating two of them. Okay, but we understand it now. So that pipe zero Q2, just like as in SDMA, we put everything on SDMA zero on Q2. Here we put everything on pipe zero Q2 VMI D9. All compute is on pipe two, pipe zero Q2 VMI D9. Um, those probably correspond to my real pointers, but I don't have a, uh, uh, I, I have to create a bit of an example for that. Okay, AQL control is on. I don't know what IQ timer is or what MQD is. I know MQD is memory queue descriptor, but okay. So we're going through the pointer now. Okay, look at this. So it puts new stuff on the ring, then it goes through and it, uh, it eats them. We can probably even make this thing decode. Ring stream. Stream would display the entire. Could not open. I forgot that those things are just in there. I forget that those things are just in there. On Navi and later A6, the GFX ring changed. Ha! Huh, look at that. 
Very cool. You are Marsh is great. So I think this is the real stuff. Um oh. Oh yeah, this is going lower level than um Okay, we probably I I don't know. I I have an idea that we don't Oh, you found the link? Let's see what it is. What was I looking at this for? They were going to talk to me about the command queue. Thank you for finding it. It doesn't look useful. I don't know if these are the uh, the actual things, but this looks a lot more, yeah, I don't trust AQL. There's another kind of command queue you can create that's not an AQL command queue. Uh, so if you look, if we go back to that tiny grad example from before, where I create that SDMA command queue, there's like four types you can create. Um, Oh, what did I close? I didn't mean to close anything. I closed the kernel probably. Whatever. Uh, if we go into SDMA fun here. Come on. Are you going to reset if I tell you to reset? And if the SMU is fucked, it's too done. No, I think the SMU doesn't actually get reset. This is like a really bad crash. SMU mode one reset? What if I do, could you do a mode two reset? Do a good reset, don't do a shit reset. Uh, yeah, here, so there's compute and compute AQL. I wonder if this is used anywhere in the runtime. HSAQ compute. No, see, it's only compute AQL. We don't actually know how to use a compute queue. I don't even know if these things are supported here. There is a test for it. Determines which packet type. Oh, PM4. Interesting. Yeah, we probably want to not use AQL and use PM4. probably something doing decoding of AQL into PM4. And we always want to get the lowest level of, of control possible, okay? Uh, PM4 instead of AQL. So yeah, right now, right now we're using we're using AQL. You can read the uh, so yeah we'd rather use PM4 uh, in OpsKFD because that's actually more like what the GPU is doing. These things are PM4 commands. These things actually look pretty broken. I don't think that's right. Got a good link? What do we got? Q handling. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I know this one. Uh, oh, here, GPU hardware ace. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, let's just kind of talk about it. Um, There's also that other, the accurate simulator one that I don't think we spent enough time looking at. Oh, 
this is sick. Yeah, just okay, got it. Oh good, we now understand ace. Okay, good. We've 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 come all the way through to understand what this stuff is. Yeah, it's using a QL packet and not, I mean, I guess we can use AQL. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but someday we can switch this to, uh, so I want to get rid of all the software. All right, AQL packet, ACE, but it doesn't actually go to the ACE. Okay. The asynchronous computer is a hardware responsible. Independent threads. So these are actually MECs. So it's not actually, this is wrong. It's not actually hardware. It's shit firmware. Um, the firmware is deciding how to dispatch these things. Oh, EOP base. Okay. Wait, we put in the EOP. We know about EOPs. Uh, yeah, that's that's put in in the queue. You can go to tiny grad. Um, Fans constantly running now. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta reboot, boys. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Uh, sad. It doesn't even work. You're trying to like not use HSA. Yeah, HSA is over. You're trying to reset again? No, recover home. Oh, come on. This is so flaky. Should we meditate for a minute? Okay. Um, I mean, this might just be like kind of everything. It's just putting things on here. We don't know what's actually on this queue. It says AQL control. So AQL might be a real thing. Thread blocks. GPU compute resources into four shader engines. The primary role of an ACE, AKA a mech, is to dispatch blocks from the kernel at the head of the HSA queue to the SEs, the shader engines. However, without a prior explanation of reasons under certain, underlying certain design decisions, the ACE's behavior while dispatching blocks to SEs may seem bizarre. To forestall any such conclusion, we must first describe a thread ordering guarantee. To wait for the completion of, oh, I understand. What do we know about SEs? We gotta find out about shader engines because I think these things are real hardware. And I bet we have six of them, right? Because that would look like the picture. I just want it to look like the picture. And I have to turn the computer hard off and hard on because I'm sure that reset didn't work. Fix your shit. in practice. Disable them in presence of a competitor.
One would think that an open source platform like Andy's GPU compute software would be in an unrivaled position of prominence. However, mere source code not just mere source code it's that you have firmware blobs you think these things are hardware they're not hardware they're shit software and they have bugs all right where were we um where were we after rebooting again MEC or ACE dispatches. I'll just copy and paste the line. It's better than I can write. Better than I can write it. Um, it's to dispatch to the SEs. Does this talk about SEs? No SEs there. SE tap delays, SE skew delays, SE select mux ram. But I think there's got to be six of them too, right? Right, those are each an SE. Yeah, oh, shader engine, perfect. Good, they're even cold shader engines. Okay. So the MEC, ah, and look, there's aces in here. Oh, we found some good shit. Good shit, boys. Okay, so these are the four aces, and they're dispatching to SEs. Uh, how to power cycle a PCIe device? Does that work? Try it. Um, no, remove and rescan usually doesn't work. Uh, we can try it. We'll try it next time. There's a chance. Can't hurt. I shouldn't really be doing wash rock and SMI because I think that's actually maybe causing what those crashes are. Yes, even rock and SMI can cause crashes. All right, there gotta be six of them. You see six anywhere? Oh, here we go. Well, there's six TDs anyway, in the CAC weights. Yeah, reg SE1, SE2, SE3. There is an SE6, but it's not real. Right, let's run some more compute. I'm just training, I'm training C part models when I run this compute, but it can be a good thing. Do these change? That's what I'm hoping for. Looks like nothing. VMID 9 is like the user space thing. So we definitely have this queue pumping away. Oh no! The SMU broke again. Okay, the broken SMU is probably okay. And again, we're using sudo, so you can't really expect it to work. We'll try your power cycling stuff in a minute. Okay. We have, how do I zoom out? We have six shader engines. 
Well, someone has six SEs. But how do I see what's actually being dispatched to them? Oh, this might be stuff we don't have the, uh, the shit for. The chance we just don't have this. Oh, I asked for the wrong firmware. I don't want the stupid MES. I want the MEC. Oh, AMD. I want the MEC. I asked for the wrong shit. I don't care about the MES. The MES isn't where the bugs are. The bugs are in the MEC. And apparently in the SMU as well. How do I see what's actually running on the shaders? Right, like this is, I just want to not use this shit. All right, let's look up SE in here. Let's look up shader in here. I'm going to reconnect. Oh, new window. And are the feds after me? Keys open doors. Keys open doors. Iterates through the shader engines of the device to get the number of waves in flight. TBAs and TMAs. It's running just slowly. Um, just, just look for the word shader. Oh, shader. Just spy shaders, though. I don't know about that. See that changing? Let's just look for what changes. Hmm. Some REC shit, some DMA shit, Gus, CPF, no, no shaders. I mean, I would guess it has this stuff because the debuggers probably do this stuff. This is this is probably accessible somewhere. We just need to find it. You want more? waves. How do I just trigger this? Can I just print waves? Waves. Did it stop running? Did we get one good one and then it stopped? Did that crash the waves? Perfect. Okay, everything we needed was already in UMR, pretty much. Like, everything we needed to understand this. Um, let's stick this down here. These are the waves. We'll clean that up in a minute. Saves. Oh, 
Okay. So we just have, yeah, there we go, beautiful. Wave PC high, wave PC low. I don't know why those numbers are weird, but should be right. Oh, that's PC high and that's PC low. Okay, that's no, that's fine. That's just the address. Okay, awesome. Uh, work group processor three, work group processor zero. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're running on all of them. And now it's like really frozen. Should we try to recover or should we try to power cycle? See, that was an MESQ crash. MES is angry. We did a mode zero reset. Let's kill all 513. It died. Gonna work. Failed to remove Q0. Skip scheduling IDs. Zoom of PSP block failed. I think this is actually, yes, it switched to CUDA automatically. All right, um, let's try your PCIe stuff. Which device is it? God, which device is it? Not that, you have something better? There was a shell script below? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just calling remove. It seems cooler, no. Um, this one. Echo one into remove. Hot reset of port. No, it's Hong trying to do this. Um, I think you have everything we need. Okay, those things are actually just poking the, the things and running them. So that's probably it. Wave listing is unreliable if you didn't halt the waves. Use all halt waves. Can I resume waves? All right, eventually it crashed because it hung the kernel. And now we have to turn the computer off and on again. Let's first push our documentation. I reiterate, I should have done on a different computer. Mech docs. Uh, have I looked at those registers when it crashes? I mean, that sounds nice. But uh, I don't think we're up to that yet. I mean, This is a 
a lot of the information we need right here. So we have SA1 Okay, there's wave zero and wave one because it's double wide. Wave GPR alloc, which is probably in the local memory. So there's a question of how deep we really want to go. It, it may be possible to find some subset of the kernel driver that actually is stable. Um, find some special way of like, you know, not upsetting the queue. Who knows what the problem really is? We back, boys. We back. Uh, let's UMR GFX. And let's look for SE. Actually, PC low should be easy to find. Me PC low. How's it getting these wave things? How's it getting this? Don't scan your shader info by reading the ring if no dism is requested. We can hold the waves. All right, let's just try to look at waves. Let's just try to use this and look at waves. Um, pseudo UMR waves. Uh, we want to O halt waves. Dash dash waves? Oh, that's it. We broke it. Ah, huh. that's kind of cool. Except that there's nothing there, but. It's just a mess crash. It's not that bad. Are we actually using AMD right now? I don't know. It's possible it just silently failed over to CUDA. It's kind of annoying that it can do that. Yeah, it just silently failed over to CUDA. Did it just say it might work? We just got a mess crash. Oh, found a pretty good paper for trying to write scheduling from scratch on AMD GPUs or just generically? I'm trying to write right garbage. Is it generic or is it specific to uh... Interesting. We'll add this to the list of links. Oh, this is the same one. This is I've seen this already. This is the same paper. Oh, it's working again slowly. Eventually came back. Okay. Waves, fault waves. Cool. Dumped all the SGPRs, dumped all the VGPRs. 
And then it seems like they crashed the GPU. Yeah, with mess crap. But at least mess crap eventually does seem to come back. Okay, don't halt the waves. Halting the waves is a mistake. How's it finding this? Where does this stuff lie? Send a command to halt the waves. I wonder if this has been used. I mean, it'd be cool if this just worked. No more wave data describe wave front. Where's it getting like wave PC lull from? Oh, they're in their registers? What? But how come I didn't see them? How come I didn't see PC low? I tried for that. status. One should be avoiding, oh, if GFX power gating is enabled. What if you disable power gating if these things will get more reliable? It's coming back, it's coming back, come on. So how come there's no low? Did I not, is that not, is GFX 1000 not the right thing? Sure looks like it's right here. Wave PC low, why is that not included? It's in GC. Why is that not included? Could it be any of these other ones? I doubt it. Oh, wait, this is an IX, not a reg. What's an IX? some way to just poke this then. Probably not a reg.
can I do if I do this? Wow. Man. This is the nicest thing. That's so cool. Okay. Um, do we know what reg SPI is? Again, we're expecting to see something that has six. Looking for shader engine. Do you want to disable GFX off? GFX off zero. Does it stay off now or is it going to turn back off? Don't go to sleep. User data, GS, HS, PS. I don't know about any of that stuff. Is the right format used by Radeon tools the same as the reg format? Uh, maybe some parts of it. What is an IX? Do we know about that? Uh, I can probably read it. There's a thing that reads it in here. M4, HSA, <sighs> UMR shader type, okay, HSGS, interesting, AI, This makes me think they're like not registers. That is not. Spy. That is normal spy. What, what, what did I find before that had that had five? Just like, what is there five of? What is there five of and not six of? Your reg SE seems the most promising. Is that one of them that changed? I remember we, like, we looked at all of them, we just looked for the ones that changed. What's a CAC agar? They don't change. That to run again. Temp T1, temp T2, GIF, temp T1, temp T2. The SDMA Q changes. U code changes. M time changes. Both SDMA queues change. Yeah, so they're probably just not registers. Um, let's look at the IP and see. Yeah. Oh. The other thing that it might be is IX just means registers, but like there's multiple of them. 
Like they might still be registers, they're just different. They might be like just just oh it's like there's so many of them. I mean whatever this is, it like looks pretty good. So I don't know why it only went up to SE3 here. I don't know, wave zero, wave one. And there should be, it should go up to SE6 here. The Rai format is much more verbose. I'm aware, yeah, but Bonaire is old. Like I, oh man, like I wish we had this. You know they have this. Oh. Oh, I want that for, yeah, Rag is just made from Rai. Come on, release the Rai file. What are the IX things mean? What opens these files? This code that those files just shared up. Oh, here, it's a reg SMC, okay. still totally read it just like requires something else oh here there's an option called read smc oh perfect i should just look right for that man this thing really has everything and let's also use color why not there will be some nice color we love color Oh, look at that color. Why can't you read from SMC Rex? I told you to read from the SMC Rex. Why can't you? Because it's not up? This stuff has to be up to do that. Oh, good. I didn't complain as much. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, I was kidding about the color. Why can't you read from the SMC reg again? Did it read from most of the SMC regs? No, it did it once. Why did it not do it again? Maybe you can only read from them in color. Oh, that's reasonable. Mm. 
no, oh no, it's not working. Why are you not reading the SMC regs? SMC register via direct IO here. Let's try ASIC options use PCI. Oh, that just might be part of the ASIC. Oh, seek cannot read. Why not? Pip fits full, no follow ID, no scan waves. Use PCI. Complains less, but they all still have value zero. They all still have zeros there. Yeah, look, unsupported family type and UMR. No, I can't do that. Cannot read from SMC right, why not? If I enable the kernel debugging, it'll tell me something. from SMC reg, but you do okay. Yeah, UMR is a man page. UMR also has a read the docs. Okay, even if it can't read from them, it's still kind of useful because I can see them. GPU reset has been a shit show on AMD for generations. Oh, my best bet is to leave and enter backo. Wait, I had backo. Do I have the? Oh no, I had I had some docs on backo. What what is? Uh, bus active chip off. Yeah. That requires the SMU to still work somewhat. I see. Try that. There's some there's some like mode to enable that I think I saw. Uh, let's not dump the bits for now. It's like regs. Tip. All right, there's probably like some active way to read this. I don't know, I'm not that interested. I mean, it's not that interesting. I think if the mech is, uh, the mech is fucked, we're just fucked. All right, that's pretty good. Um, how did we do on our documentation today? Oh no. Oh no.
Not that up to date. Bad tree object head. Well, an idea. URL for this. Could the Mac be some kind of risk five chip? I mean, maybe. Ace? No. Let's see how I want. AMD has been unwilling to dedicate competent people to fixing reset bugs for years. They say it is high severity, low priority. What clowns. All right, let's look through our docs and see what we're doing. All right, documentation for the thing. All right, we got some, we got some docs here. We can go into the Mac. We can go into the mess. We can go into the CP. Uh, all right, let's actually add some docs here. What arch is the firmware, okay? So, um, random notes. Uh, the PSP is ARM. ones are F32, SDMA plus RLC, SDMA plus RLC are F32, and we'll include a link to the fail overflow repo. Uh, others are, what's the name for it again? RS sixty four like NEC or RS sixty four. Uh, no known dots on this uh, ISA. Compute unit, it's where compute happens. All right, we see that there's six shader engines, six SEs. Now well, maybe we should add some notes about the other kind of, um, Yeah, the uh, SQ registers are on what were they? On SMC and should be readable with 
but I can get it to work. We are in the red files prefixed with IX instead of red. Make sure that's right. So we added some docs for those. Has six shader engines as seen in the main diagram. Uh, for Include a link to the RDMA three in case people don't actually know about that. I'm sure they do. Uh, in the CU, um, these CUs run run uh, RDMA three code and are quite. This stuff. We have the ISA. The ISA. No, no, no. I really doubt the firmware ISA is documented here. No, it's not. These are the ISAs for the for the CUs, not the ISAs for the firmware. This repo can reset. Why can't it reset the newer ones? Okay, um, good. Should I move it? SDMA to its own thing? Let me move SDMA to its own thing. Oh, the guy rage quit again when it broke on the new one? Yeah. I, I don't know how they debug it. Uh, Radeon Tools contains a reverse engineer for the... Uh, there's a, Okay, so I didn't think that Radeon Tools worked at all, but it turns out it does. So you can see here in my CP documentation, um, the SDMA and RLC are F32, and that's the reverse engineered ISA. But there's a new ISA called RS64, at least from what I can tell. And the MEC is um, is that. Mm. I'm not that interested in 
this is just normal normal GDB that can oh well what is this I'll include it in the links um Probably not. So none of that GDB is going to be able to attach to the uh, to the firmware. How does how does AMD develop on this thing without being able to reset it? Like, do they not have? I bet they have the most insane development processes. Like the amount of man hours that are just wasted, uh, where if they build some like sane tooling, I don't know. Like, I don't think they have secret good internal tools. I think like UMR is one of the nicest things they have. Probably same as us, because you know it looks like you know, UMR. Guy wrote your mark cares. This is JTAG. They JTAG like like a normal developer working on this GPU has it rigged up to JTAG? Maybe. wiki with tons of instructions i bet it's bleak okay so i heard from another amd source which shows that amd doesn't really talk that well that they can't even get access to registers which i don't believe but he said they can't even get access to registers in order to get information on a register they have to go through a team that looks at it through nvidia's eyes to see if that would leak any information I thought of logic probing the pins directly. Are you trolling? Are we going to spend nine more months to find out it's a hardware bug? Maybe. What do we do if it's a hardware bug, man? Class action lawsuit? Class action lawsuit. No, I don't think it's a hardware bug. I, I really don't. Besides, most hardware bugs... Like, hardware has bugs, but they're mitigated. Mitigating hardware bugs is okay. Mine aren't bugs. But a crypto handshake with the PSP firmware? I don't know about that. You think the PSP firmware has the secret good reset that they don't expose for some reason? I don't know. I don't necessarily buy that. No, reset is just fuck. The SMU doesn't work well enough. Yeah, I buy that. Uh, um, which architecture is the SMU, by the way? Oh, it might be F32 as well. Let's try radium tools on it. Why are they using some custom ISA? So don't, don't. Um, you don't want to know the answer to that. It sure looks like this is RS64, but a little different. Let's say RS64 question mark. We don't have any evidence that that one's really R64, I don't think. 
think. Where do we dump the registers here? Yeah, we don't have any evidence for that. We do have evidence for the MEC. Yeah, I believe that. Um, maybe KDB is the, you know, just the kernel debugger. It's not IBM's RI64, I don't think so. PC. We can try. I don't think so, but we can try. Um, let's go here to Mac. I have this. No, I don't have CP. I think these are Power PC instructions. Definitely not. It's probably just some, again, there's a question of even how useful it would be if we figured that out. If we have a full, if we had like a nice Gidra, yeah, that'd be pretty good, but we don't have a Gidra. Um, I mean, they're never gonna, they're never gonna, even if they release the MES. What's interesting is if they do release the MES, they'll have to release some docs on RS64 as well. But yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath for them doing anything. It's clear they do not want it to be better. They are fine. The GPU is just fine. 2% of the market share is plenty for everyone at AMD. Make more sense if it was FP32, but it's not. I just disassembled it. I know it's an older part of the system, but I bet you the chips can run both too. I bet you they just recompile in RS64. And that if you set the flag the other way, they, uh, right, like it's, it's doing something else here. There's no FP32, it's F32. This also might be new to GFX 11. which is kind of interesting. What could it be?
first appeared on Fiji. What is this? RLCV? Again, what would this even get us? We've solved most of the mysteries. One day we can understand how the MEC is actually dispatching things. Uh, but like, yeah, this, this is pretty just good. Okay, the GPU hardware has the aces, and then the aces here do thread blocks. Figure abbreviates workload manager. Are these things real? Um, prim unit. Oh, RB positive. Great. That sounds like a blood type. Yeah, Gen 4 is here. Multimedia engine, display engine. Ace, here's your DMA engines. Here's your CP. There's all your little L2s. Little L2s. Um, a 6 meg L2 cache. 3 megs total of L1, I imagine. So little of this is actually about compute. They're not making a big RDMA, RDNA 4 chip from what I heard. Is that still true? What? We're streaming. If you'd like to come in here and discuss and you're appropriately dressed, you can. I'm hungry though. Yeah. Are you in sandwiches? Is that what we do? No big chip. No big chip. Boo. AMD 
city is diverting scarce resources from gaming to AI. They're making bigger, more expensive chips that don't work and not making little chips that don't work. Shader engine. The block must be assigned to a specific CU on the SE. Okay, good. We can we can we can look at we look at the diagram while we're reading this. Let's just do a reading of this, and then that'll be today's stream. And then I gotta go find food. Why isn't it good outside? It's like gray. Oh. Yeah, they cancel. Alex. Sandwiches, so we're gonna. But I do. We need. We need five to ten minutes to wrap the stream up. We touched on a lot of important topics today, like the Illuminati and you know AMD. <laughs> um. All right. Let's just do a, a a reading of this. Okay. In order for an ace over here to assign a block. To an SE, the block must be assigned to a specific CU on that SE. As shown in figures four and five, assigning blocks to the CU is a job of a piece of per SE hardware called the workload manager. Ah, wait, there's a citation for this? Only if I showed up to Oak Ridge National Laboratory on September 6th, 2019. Okay. The workload manager has four dedicated slots for staging incoming blocks. One slot dedicated to each of the GPU's four aces. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I've got four aces, puts things in the workload manager. Ideally, workload managers will assign things in these four slots to the CUs in a round robin manner. The behavior changes if no CU has available resources. In this situation, the workload manager will allow blocks with smaller resource requirements to cut ahead if possible. Get ready for race condition. This finally allows us to explain why this GPU constantly crashes. I see. Hmm. Why do we only make one Q? For more insight on why Radeon sucks, oh, let's see this. Oh, this is this is gonna be. The, yep. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is so sad. This is so sad to read. This is so sad to read. Hey, Gniff, if you see this, you want to draw? 
Let's 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 make a let's support their GPUs even if uh, they don't. Right? Because let me explain. Step one: support their GPUs. Step two: support our own GPUs and cut them out. See what I'm saying? Step one. Step two. Step three is profit, and it doesn't even have any question marks in it. Step one, build better environment. Build, yeah, this is what we're doing, okay? All right, ready, ready, ready for the, ready for the plan? Dude, unstoppable, bros, unstoppable, okay. The only way to build an AI chip company is to start with software. Many companies thought it was a good idea to tape out chips. Taping out a chip is the easy part. The hard part is writing software. You see, AMD was able to tape out chips, but they weren't able to write any decent software. The software is terrible. There's kernel panics in the driver. My poor man, Gniff. You know, I spent more of my fair share debugging AMD devices and helping them to understand the issue, only to see them just dismiss it all in future generation and not even get a thanks or any other form of support when my work resulted in sales for them. See. You, I, I went through this phase, bro. I went through this phase and then I just accepted that AMD is never going to change. But what we can do is make our own chips. And now I know that my chip needs to have an ACE and a shader engine and a, no, not really. We don't actually need any of that shit. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, they're not gonna win, guys. Like there's no way AMD, it's, it, is, it is over for AMD. Um, you know, like, look, RDNA 4 is not going to have a high-end part. You think RDNA 5 is? You know how these things work, right? Like, I I'm telling you, my prediction, and I give maybe 50% odds on this prediction, is that AMD stops trying to compete in the high-end GPU market. Um, the only GPUs they're going to continue to make are the GPUs for uh, their Ryzen processors and the GPUs for uh, game consoles. Um, yeah, I think that this is, that this is over, unfortunately. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We will pick up right where they left off, uh, and we'll make big chips and, uh, you know, they'll just be better. Um, so yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to fix it, uh, without their support and we're never going to expect anything from them. Uh, I don't know. See, the mistake was they, they told me they would give me stuff. See, that was the mistake. I don't expect shit from Qualcomm, you know? Reverse engineer all oh, it's Qualcomm. You want to see, you want to see a, a beautiful piece of reverse engineering? An open pilot. I think it's still where I left it. Let's see if it's still where I left it. Um, it's logger, where is logger D? Oh, move to system. Yeah, uh, V4L encoder, man. If you want a beautiful piece of reverse engineering, it's this. Uh, this is a 330 line replacement for, I forget even what Android calls it. Oh, it has some stupid name um, that like lets you access the encoders. I forget what Android, I forget what Android calls it. But it's some it's some like weird API. I just reverse engineered it, went straight to the kernel, boom, straight to the kernel. Uh, and we used to like link and like load in this thing, and it was janky. The the Android one could barely keep up. Uh, what's the Android? Android video encoder. What's what's it? It's not Media Kodak. It's called something else. Android video encoder. API. What's the generic video encoder API? We'll, we'll let everybody talk. Maybe somebody knows. Um, video encoder API Android. What is it? What can I think of it? It's not Media Kodak. It has some. It has some like high level. No, it's not VA API. What is it? It's gonna bother me if I don't find this. Um, when you guys will find it, right? Oh, OpenMax. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Open Max. OMX. OMX, yeah. So OMX is the is this like overlay layer. Qualcomm wrote this terrible user space for it. Just reverse engineered it. Uh, yeah, stage fright media codec OMX. But um, reverse engineered it, went straight to the kernel, went from 50 milliseconds, barely keeping up with our 50 millisecond camera cycle to eight milliseconds, directly using the encoder. Uh, yeah, I saw FFmpeg to quote the tweet. Like, this is, look, here's a guy having the exact same experience I had with AMD, right? They, they, they like, can, can people draw attention to this? See, like, it sucks. Like, at least, you know, when I, when I raise hell about stuff, people respond to me because, you know, they, they, they again, the only thing these companies respond to is PR. Um, but, you know, who, who responds to this guy? Right? They respond to PR, and I don't know. Should we keep the pressure up? I think, I think like, uh, oh, should, we, should, we, should we retweet this? Right? Like, it's, it just makes me angry again. If a horse doesn't want to drink water, we just make our own GPUs, and our own GPUs are better. That's right. Um, all right, did I push everything? Keep the pressure, it's working already? No, it's not working. They've done absolutely nothing. AMD has done nothing. We have written documentation. Oh. I'm sure, I'm sure that guy. Interesting. I don't really understand it. Oh, I guess it's like, oh, it's just like a really low level. Oh, cool. One more anecdote. All GCN1 works okay, but the uh, 7 <laughs> is unbootable because they never figured out how to power it on. Wow. Um, no, as long as they keep answering. No, you're wrong about that. Why not tweet about market share estimation? Yeah, I think, I think you know, yeah, you can lead a horse to water. Um, oh, you mean the really old one? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but look, okay, we have some documentation. All right, I'm gonna go eat an Easter sandwich, Easter eggs, gonna go on an egg hunt or something, whatever people do for Easter. Um, TinyCon GPU announced, but yeah, we'll make our own GPU and it'll be good. Um, the hardware, the first generation of the hardware is gonna be open source. After that, I'm not sure. Uh, I think after that, probably the, the future chips will be closed, uh, but we'll, we'll definitely document the chips well. Um, it really might be. I'm uh, probably not yet, but like if I keep working on this, if I work on this for like four weekends, I bet it will be better than AMD's internal logs. Um, again, for what we can get access to, uh, I, I don't, uh, uh, we, we don't have, we don't have all the information we need, but we're not that limited by information. I mean, it would be nice if we had, yeah. You think the source code for these things is like documented? I mean, there's no, there's no documentation in the kernel driver. They just use acronyms. They don't tell you what they are. Um, you said no info on the dark web. I did that. Uh, all right. Um, 
Yeah, we're working on, so a quick, quick, quick Tiny Grad, then we go. Uh, so what we're working on now in Tiny Grad is a new driver um, and a new style of driver. What? Uh, look at that, look at that, look at that spike. Uh, we're working on a new style driver called Command Q. Would I actually want to hire the guy? Maybe. I mean, I I, I think that like we could start with like, uh, I don't know, again, it depends who he is. I really do like that people find their own way to Tiny Grad. Um, I don't really like to like reach out to people. When people are ready, they'll find their way here. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I would give him, I'd give him a thousand dollars if he could fix the reset on the GPU. That's a real offer. Um, if, if he finds a way to reliably reset the uh, 7900 XTX, 1000 bucks. Um, bro, I don't care about that. Uh, if you retweet him, you might find you on his own. Yeah, I, I, a thousand bucks if you can fix the, uh, if he finds his way to this video, thousand bucks if he fixes it for the uh, RDNA 3. Um, no, we're not doing any hardware mods. I need a software way that reliably resets the GPU and that's worth a thousand dollars. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll look through it. I'll try what he has. I'll see what doesn't work and then I'll, I'll file an issue with my offer. Um, let's try them all in sequence. Yeah, 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 we'll try them. It'd be nice. If we, it'd be nice if we had a real reliable um, way to reset. But yeah, Command Q is the future. Command Q and KFD is going to give us O of 1 dispatch timing. Uh, no, I'm not putting a relay on the GPU, bro. Um, I have things to do with my life that aren't that. Uh, and then also, who knows if that even works? Do you think the kernel driver is capable of handling power loss to the thing? Uh, you know, who knows what internal state holds in the kernel? So yeah, all that. No, it's not gonna work. Never mind. Why, why am I talking with some of your good subscribers? Yep. All right. Thank you for watching today's stream. Happy Easter, everybody. Enjoy your documentation for the 7900 XTX. Uh, perhaps we will continue this project next Sunday. I think we're all learning a lot. Uh, hopefully you guys like these uh, streams and uh, happy Easter. Be a good Christian, uh, or be, a, be, be Jewish, uh, be, a, be a Muslim. Uh, all those things are good. Just don't be an atheist because you know, man, come on.